Hello. Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> ah, well, well, well. Today, today we start the final chapter. The final chapter of Rain Code. <laughs> Hi everyone! Um, yeah, welcome! How's it been going? <laughs> I'm like... Honestly, I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous to be starting the last chapter of Rain Code. You know, after, after all of this, it's gonna be over! <laughs> and I'm gonna be... I don't know, I'm gonna be... I don't know! I hope I, I leave this game thinking, wow, that was amazing. <laughs> Through like the ups and the downs, I hope in the end I could still be like, hey, Rain Code was great. <laughs> and I feel like, okay, so now that we are in the final chapter, I've been thinking, um, what am I gonna do after Rain Code? Uh, there is like Yako's light novel that I can download. I don't know if anyone would want me to read that out loud on stream, or if I should, like, just read that in my own time. Do you, uh, like, is that even something people want? <laughs> and then there's also the DLC uh, for uh, Desiko and Fubuki and Halara, and then also Vivia, which I, I do want to play as streams as well. Um, and then after that, I was like, well, I don't know, I've never done, like, <laughs> analysis content, <laughs> but you, even if it's not, like, a full-blown, like, video essay, I think I would, like, if it, if it was, like, a tier list, a tier list stream, right? I think I would like to have a, like, tier list stream where I just, like, discuss aspects of what I feel about Rain Code. I think that might be a nice way to wrap it off before I like move on to like maybe another game or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of see what happens, I guess. But yeah, chapter five. Chapter five of Rain Code. Um, the last one. And I'm expecting this chapter to have like plot twist after plot twist after plot twist. And also, lore dump after lore dump after lore dump. If we know anything from the structure of Dabarampa, this is how these kinds of games go, right? <laughs> we learn all the information that's uh, important uh, in this chapter. <laughs> Sad to see me leave Rain Code? Well, uh, mm, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but there are, there are tons of more games that I want to get started with too. Um, I just feel like, depending on my time and everything, I might have to, like, start into next year. Well, we will see. <laughs> uh, but thoughts on Chapter 4? Uh, I will get into that once we get into our slideshow. So, why don't I just start the slideshow? <laughs> so, as always, you know, gotta have our number 5. Uh, and when I was thinking back to Codename's Kid Next Door, I was like, you know what? I think number five was probably my favorite out of the five main characters. She's just very cool, you know? <laughs> number five. Just cool. Anyway, um, let's move on. So firstly, shout out to, again, Secret Seeker 666 for this fan art being sent in. <laughs> of uh, Fubuki, Gundam, and Sonya. I like how we were like kind of joking that Fubuki feels like the daughter of Gundam and Sonya. And now we got this fan art, <laughs> and again, once again, complaining about Gundam's hairstyle. <laughs> I just think that's fun. Uh, so there's two of them. So I, what is Hot Sonya holding? I think she's like holding a bloody puppeteering rod, or maybe it's the Christian cross. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, and then I guess Fubuki's got a soul in her hands I'm not too sure but um it's great to see it's great to see fan art of the three <laughs> so thank you thank you very much for sending in the fan art again 
Uh, all right, we're gonna move on now. Um, and I was thinking, okay, uh, you know, actually, you know what? Before, before we uh, jump into what I think chapter five is gonna be about, how about we talk about a little bit of chapter four? Um, chapter four. So I was thinking about it, and I still am not sure. I'm still not sure how I feel about Vivia. Like it's been a while, and like you know, a whole week since we finished chapter four, and I was just thinking, like, I I still don't know how I feel about Vivia as a whole. Like, I think he's kind of cool, um, but <laughs> I I don't know if I I don't know. He's not my scrimblo, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know how to feel about him. <laughs> I I don't know. He's odd. You're you're right about that. He is odd. Um, but just finishing chapter four, I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. And it's like, okay, here's one thing. I feel like Vivi's actions were totally unnecessary because, like, you know, he's trying to threaten Yuma, be like, you you mustn't find out the truth because your your reality, your the way you see the world is gonna change if you find out the truth and I'm like yeah so I thought by the end of it Yuma and um Vivio were gonna like have an oath of secrecy where they would just like take it to the grave they wouldn't tell the other detectives that Yako killed the doctor and stuff like that I thought I thought that was gonna be the conclusion you know and then <laughs> And then it's like one scene after it's like oh no everybody knows everybody knows Yaku did it and I'm like what everybody knows <laughs> I'm like then what was the point then what was the point of what Vivian did at all huh <laughs> what was the point if they are all gonna find out that Yaku did it in the end I don't know so that's why I feel like I'm a little like I don't know, on the fence about how I feel about Vivia because I just feel like, well, like if his actions didn't really matter in the end because everyone just knew that Yako did it, then what was the point of everything? <laughs> what was the point of him like trying to kill me and everything? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of how I feel about Vivia. And I'll, I'll keep talking about it because uh, we can go into our slideshow. Anyway, so um, it seems like this chapter we're gonna be discussing the uh, great global mystery and actually trying to find the secret of Kanai Ward, the ultimate secret of Kanai Ward. And number one, uh, at the very end of the last chapter was like, oh yeah, so it, the global the global crime thingy is a series of kidnappings. Um, so a bunch of people, I guess, around the world are getting kidnapped and brought to Kanai Ward. Um, and Halara is saying that they're probably being taken to the restricted area, which is being labeled as a corpse disposal facility. And I was like thinking like, okay, this is probably where we are going this chapter, because clearly it's all leading up to this, you know? Um, and I was thinking, okay, why are there, why are people being kidnapped and brought to, uh, Kanai Warden in the first place? And I was thinking, okay, so, you know, we were discussing humunculus stuff, and then we were just at Amaterasu Lab with Dr. Huesca, and then they're saying, like, oh, you know, he experiments, or it's very unethical. And I was like, okay, well, what's one way you can, like, you know, commit unethical crimes and not like lose the entire population of your city uh you kidnap people bring them to your city which is like blocked off so nobody from the outside world is going to be able to find them and nobody inside kanai ward is going to be able to like leak this info out oh god i have to cough right now wait give me a sec okay i'm done coughing Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, so basically that's my thoughts. So the people being kidnapped to Kanai Ward are being tested on in secret for the Homunculus Project. I know that they said like the Homunculus Project was probably what Dr. Huesca was working on like until three years ago because of Makoto stopping it, but I feel like is probably still being carried out in secret um probably at this restricted area that is my that is my theory for now 
Um, but yeah, I guess we'll find out. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, right, so, um, <laughs> there was this little loading screen pit that, uh, we read last time saying, Amazing physique, and number one of the WDO made look wizened, but beneath his robe is a muscle-bound body comparable to that of a youth. It's littered in scars following the encounters with a variety of criminals. Okay, so, like, after this, I was like, what? <laughs> He's buff? He's buff, and then um, I got sent. I got sent this reference image. So thank you, thank you very much to Kirby, <laughs> Kirby SS44, uh, for sending me this image of the, I guess the concept or you know reference artwork for number one. And I was like, oh my god, he's buff. <laughs> he is so buff. And I'm like, what was the point, huh? <laughs> we never get to see him this buff. Unless, you know, the, the, the building did explode. And you know what? If if number one is going to be alive, uh, maybe the explosion tore off his clothes. You know, we, <laughs> we'll, we'll never know until he appears again. I think number one is going to come to Kanai Ward without his robe on and just be like jacked. <laughs> It's like when Yuma you was about to be attacked, <laughs> number one comes in, it's like, I'll save you. <laughs> it's like, whoa, number one! You're alive! And he's like, of course I'm alive. Look at my jacked body. <laughs> so I just think it's interesting that they would like even bother designing like a tattoo for him if he's not gonna show off his body. You know what I mean? I feel like at some point in this next chapter number one's gonna be like haha i'm not dead <laughs> and come to kanai ward and like help us uh and he's also not gonna wear a shirt because it burned in the explosion <laughs> and he just didn't bother putting another shirt on you know that that's the that's the uh <laughs> actually uh my internet was exploded <laughs> the explosion took away me too so true, so true. Okay, let me know if the, the stream's back. <laughs> Are we back? <laughs> oh, yeah, I suppose like we can talk about it, right? Um, the thumbnail this time. I decided to use my own art for the thumbnail because I was like, well, I don't know what's gonna happen this chapter, right? So might as well use my own art. Uh, anyway, sorry about that. It can't- it can't be a stream. It can't be a key stream without some internet issues, you know? It's all part of the- it's all part of the show. It's all planned, actually. <laughs> anyway, we're moving on from his, uh, exploded shirt. Um, okay. So, this is something that I've been thinking about, right? And I was like, okay, so... This is- this is back in chapter- chapter- uh, actually, this is back in the prologue. This is a screenshot from the prologue. That's why um, Yako's here <laughs> and not dead. Um, but like, Hilara says, um, number one barely or rarely ever shows himself, so no one knows his true identity. Which has me feeling that this old man, like this guy, might not be number one. You know, he might not even be the real number one. Might be a body double. Um, so no one knows his true identity, and I, I, it got me thinking back to this scene. I think this was at the end of chapter two. I can't remember, but like when we see this like little like distorted flashback area. So the yellow, the yellow figure is like someone who's training Yuma. The red one is Yuma, and the blue one is number one. And I remember seeing at the time, I was like, that doesn't look like number one. He looks so small. Is he a short king, actually? Um, and I was like, okay, so why does, like, so this, they said this is like the lower floors, or like, you know, why would a higher up person of the WDO be in this area? It looks like a dungeon <laughs> hallway, honestly. Um, but I was like, why Why does the, per the person in yellow, why does the yellow person even know what number one looks like? Unless this is also a body double for number one. But it doesn't seem likely because like, they were like, oh, the, the book comes from an area where number one can go into with his like biometrics and whatever, right? So I'm like, okay, so this is the real number one? 
Is he also just a short king? <laughs> and then I'm like, why does the yellow person even know what number one's true identity is, right? And that's why I'm like, okay, so maybe this is also just a body double. Um, but again, I, I don't really know. I feel like, you know, some things here... Number one's probably a short king, and we'll probably figure out who it is later. And I have a- I have a theory! I have a theory about it, okay? I have a theory. I don't know why it would be this theory, but I have a theory, and I'll discuss it at the end of the slideshow. But, um, basically Yako also said that number one is being hunted by criminal syndicates all over the world and his location is kept top secret. And I was like, alright, if the location of his whereabouts is top secret, why the heck is the WDO headquarters like a known building to the public, you know? And why would he be in the headquarters if his location is supposed to be secret. This is like a news report, world news. It's saying the WDO building was involved in a terror attack and like Halara and all of them are like, oh my God, it's the WDO, which means this is actually the WDO building. And I'm like, why would that be something that's public knowledge? If you're trying to tell me that number one was also in this building and is being hunted by people, so like, why why is he here if he's supposed to be in a secret place, you know? I just think that's stupid. Um, <laughs> Mr. Number One isn't so smart, actually. Uh, if we know what building the WDO is like, even like being like located at. I just think that's stupid. Um, <laughs> maybe he should have been somewhere else, you know? Number one sucks. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, WDO headquarters seems to have been struck by a terrorist bombing. Um, and I'm like, was this also done by Amaterasu? But if it was done by Amaterasu, I'm like, then it has to be like Makoto, right? Makoto must have done this, cause who else, who else is like the head of Amaterasu anymore? So Makoto is very suspicious to me, um, and we'll continue on with why later, but anyway. So, uh, we're going back to Yako dying now, and I'm just thinking, alright, so Shinigami's like, was he already dead, or was it due to the mystery labyrinth? We'll never know, and I was saying in the last time, I was like, no. <laughs> Shinigami, <laughs> it's like, no, 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 Yuma, Yuma killed him. Um, and I just think, like, don't make it vague like this. I feel like if you want it to be more powerful anyway, and it's like, it'll, it's just kind of that, like, Thing where I thought Yuma and Vivia were gonna be like in on it together and just like never reveal the truth that Yako was a part of it um, to like you know make it a softer a softer blow on the other detectives you know like they'll be like oh you know we didn't find any evidence or something like that because like they're not gonna be able to really investigate this place again, so like if they don't think about it, maybe they'll never figure out that Yako was actually involved, you know? Who who knows? But like they do! Everybody knows Yako did it! So like there's no point. Like, honestly, you must you killed him. You killed Yako, and it would have been stronger thematically because you are learning from this experience, right? It's it's like out of the three options, did he die by gas? Did he die by the stabbing? Or did he die because Yuma reaped his soul? It's obviously stronger narratively if Yuma kills him. <laughs> like so like don't even give me this. Don't even give me this like, oh Yuma, you you didn't actually kill him. It's like, no, <laughs> Yuma, you did. We literally see Shinigami taking his soul away. Would he still have a soul if he wasn't already like dead? You know what I mean? <laughs> but like clearly souls can still exist even after somebody dies uh, in this universe. But um, I would like to think thematically it is just stronger if like, even if Yako was dead dead and this is just his soul, 
uh, Shinigami did the final blow and now his soul is even gone, you know? <laughs> also, yes, yes, I didn't want to mention it at the time this was happening, but also my, my, one of my thoughts was like, he's getting a face full of boob at the moment and I'm just like, Shinigami, I know you're doing something nice, but you are full on putting your boobs straight into his like, face and he is breathing like his last breath is taken between your breaths <laughs> your breasts <laughs> your breath breaths <laughs> and I'm like well that's one way to go worth it you guys <laughs> I didn't want to mention it during the time this was happening because I'm like this is an emotional moment you know he's disappearing in a in a peaceful way but I just think it's funny that he's dying, like, evaporating from her boobs. Um, thank you, Shinigami. <laughs> thank you. Anyway, we're gonna move on from this. Um, and thank you again to Kirby for, uh, providing this image of, uh, Yako and his wifey. Um, and I'm like, you know what, you want? it's okay, it's okay. Even though, even though your dad and his wife are gone you know you're uh, you never got to know this mom of yours i guess uh it's okay it's okay you mom because because like chapter five it's gonna show your real parents you might you're gonna figure out who you are and you're gonna remember your real parents and it's gonna be okay you it's gonna be okay your real mom and dad <laughs> your real mom and dad are gonna be here for you and they're gonna come in and we're gonna be like <gasps> Nayagiri <laughs> and we're gonna be like yo this is the best ending ever <laughs> it's like yes yes the true We've been waiting for this. <laughs> We've been waiting for this to happen. And then Yuma's gonna have this beautiful photo with Nike and Kiri Kiri. And we're gonna be like, yeah, it was all connected. <laughs> this is the Dagarapa world. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I just think this needs to happen. And if it doesn't happen in this game, um, you know, it is canon in my brain. It's canon in my brain. <laughs> and even if maybe he's not like a direct descendant or child of Nigiri, maybe he's like their great, their great grandson or something. You know, it's gotta, it's gotta be in the family. <laughs> and then Yuma says, "Yeah, I'm glad Yaku died so I can meet you." <laughs> oh. Anyway, it runs in the family, you know, the Ahoge and the Amnesiac Detective. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna keep going now. Uh, oh, this was basically just my point about, like, why does everybody know? Why does everybody know that Yako committed the murder? I just feel like, you know, if the whole point of Vivia's thing last chapter was that he wanted to prevent the others from finding out the truth, then, like, what was the whole point of his actions? If everybody knows, you know? Like, I, I'm just kind of mad about that. I understand they're detectives and they could have figured it out anyway, but I'm just like, you know, then why why only threaten me, Vivia? Why only me? Anyway, whatever. Number one, you suck. <laughs> Maybe you deserve to die in the explosion. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna keep going. Okay, I still think... I still think my theory for why Fink could have still been the killer of Dr. Huesca is still, could have been still very valid. I think like, you know, the fact that they didn't even entertain this guy as the, as the killer is like infuriates, well maybe not infuriates me, but I feel like it's a missed opportunity and maybe it like just increases the time of the case or whatever, but I still think like this guy had so much potential to actually like also have been the killer and I don't, I don't know. I feel like sometimes I want to exploit every possibility, but it's like, I feel like they came to the conclusion that he wasn't involved in Dr. Huesca's murder like too, too quickly. Cause I still think like Yomi, like my, my like, 
fan theory that Yomi hired this guy to kill off Dr. Huesca because like he wanted Dr. Huesca dead anyway and like this guy is a serial killer, right? So like if he can get this guy killed by toxic gas and get Dr. Huesca killed and it's like not like connected to him because he can destroy evidence like wouldn't that just be killing two birds with one stone i just think that was a very valid theory and i'm upset that they did not propose it at all and i'm like maybe my brain's just bigger <laughs> maybe my brain's just bigger than kodaka's you know what <laughs> i i i feel like this guy with the the massive chin i feel like this guy with the massive jawline you know, he deserved better than just, you know, nothing. <laughs> than just killing Yako. And I'm like, okay, then where did Yako even get the money? Where did Yako get the money to hire an assassin? And also, Yako, if you knew how to contact the assassin, like, <laughs> shouldn't you have, like, done something about it? You're like, okay, people are dying, but um, I'm not going to you know, get him arrested or anything because actually I'm gonna hire him too. I'm um, just like, okay, Yako, where, how did you even contact this dude? Anyway, whatever. Uh, F in the chat for Fink for being wasted potential, unless he comes back in chapter 5 and like, you know, helps out the team. Maybe he... <laughs> maybe? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. I don't know. He'll take off his hair, uh, the hood, and he also has an ahoge. And then I can cross that off my bingo. Ahoge reveal. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Anyway. So, we're gonna talk about, like, uh, Mr. Yomi's, uh, phantom, mystery phantom form. And I'm like, that's a good design. I think in the end, he has a good design. It's, it, the only thing is, I would not be able to tell this is Yomi. If you showed me this character design, I would not know that this was Yomi. And also, there's no rainbows on his design. So, you know, he, he's clearly... Um, very heterosexual, you know, he, <laughs> he, he gotta have his right hand woman's, um, and, you know, that's why he has no rainbows, which, you know, also means that everyone else who has rainbows is, uh, not straight. So, you know, these are facts. <laughs> these are facts. Anyway, whatever. We're gonna move on. <laughs> um, yeah, Martina's alive, and I don't know how to feel about it. I think Martina was a fun character in Chapter 2. I liked her contributions, but the fact that she's not a cube, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if she should have been alive or cubed, you know? I was kind of hoping to see a cube. In fact, she's not a cube. Makes me feel upset. And I also feel like, you know, she's alive, but like, she's not even doing anything that cool. <laughs> you know, like, she's like, all right, y Yomi, I'm gonna like girl boss now, and you're getting arrested. But you know what? You can have a lawyer. Because, <laughs> like, we're now not so corrupt, right? And it's just like, well, <laughs> Martina! <laughs> But I'm also like, Yomi, Yomi, I feel like can easily escape. Again, the peacekeepers suck at their jobs. I'm like, Yomi is gonna escape. He's not gonna be in jail. He's not gonna rot in jail. And I feel like Yomi is gonna show up again in this chapter. And he's like, you, you can't keep me down. <laughs> and like, go crazy. <laughs> um, and Martina, Martina is alive, but like, because she's like, oh, I'm stepping down my, from my position. Thanks, Makoto. I don't know. I'm like, is she gonna be important anymore? Martina? <laughs> Martina? <laughs> you know, like, what have what ha Show me, show me Slink. Show me Seth. Show me um, Guillaume and uh, Dominic. What happened to them? What happened to them? Are they in prison? <laughs> like, what's going on with them? 
anyway, Martina's alive. I guess I'm like somewhat happy to see she is alive because she's kind of cool. But I, I don't know. I kind of wanted to see her as a cube. <laughs> I kind of wanted to see her as a cube. Anyway, like I said, Yomi, I feel like he won't go quietly, you know? He's not gonna like just sit in jail. He's gonna come back and like be all powerful and stuff. And I want to see him fight Makoto. I want to see it. I want to see it. If he's just like dead <laughs> after this, I'm gonna be very disappointed, you know? I wanted to see Yomi and Makoto get into a fist fight. <laughs> like now that he doesn't have his position as the, the director of the peacekeepers, they're not on like equal footing anymore. I feel like Yomi will just like, you know, go feral. And I want to see that king. I want to see his most, his most uh, feral side. <laughs> Anyway, uh, like, Makoto, I just think he's suspicious, you know? Like, he's not our- he's not our friend. He's using us all the time. He- he, like, plotted this to happen. He wanted Yomi out of the way so that he could have entire control over Amaterasu and the Peacekeepers. And I just feel like something is gonna go down and Makoto is the actual big bad, you know, like, I don't trust him. <laughs> so I kind of, I kind of like, I think it would be really cool if everyone like teams up, like Yuma and like all his enemies, and <laughs> whatever. We all team up to defeat our like common en enemy, Makoto. <laughs> but uh, anyway. So like, he's like, oh, I'm not gonna lie, just rumors, but like, no, you are a liar. You are a liar, Makoto. I know it's it's relevant. I know you're probably also like making homunculi or whatever in the restricted area. So like, uh, he's big fat enemy number one right now in my brain. Uh, okay, going back to this introduction scene for him, and he's like, hmm. So that's my. And I got I got a feeling. I was like, okay, so Makoto has to be like Yuma's relative in a way like that he's gotta be like either his twin separated at birth <laughs> or like some kind of I don't know we were talking about homunculi right and I'm like what if what if Yuma is a homunculi and we just don't know it you know like like, we don't know our past, right? So, what if he was actually a homunculi? Um, and like, he he made a contract with Shinigami to forget the fact. And I don't know why. I don't know why. That's just a, a throwing a theory out there. But like, I, I don't know. Because like, Makoto, right? He, like, my theory is that he's kidnapping people and turning them into homunculi. So what if... What if Yuma was, like, his twin that he turned into a homunculi, but then Yuma, like, ran away and then formed a contract and forgot everything and now came back? I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Um, so yeah, Makoto's bad. He gave us a box and it's got gas in it and we're all knocked out and I'm just like, he's baddie. He's- he's a baddie. <laughs> he's a baddie. Ooh. <laughs> Anyway, whatever, we're gonna find out what's gonna happen after this. Um, and then, last note, last thing I wanna note. Okay, so the, this ramen man has to be some someone important, right? We see him in chapter one, uh, zero. We see him in chapter zero, he gets off the train, and then he's running this ramen shop. And we saw him at the end of the last chapter, where he's like literally not doing anything. And I'm like, this guy can't just be like, doing nothing. There's got to be something uh, important about this mysterious man who makes ramen. I don't know what. He's also a short king. So this is my theory. This guy is number one, right? Because we were like saying before, number one, the guy was like, oh, hey, uh, hello, sir. 
that's number one. You don't know Yuma because you've never seen him before, but that's number one. And I'm like, listen, guys, this guy is number one, the true number one. <laughs> and what is he doing here? I don't know. Uh, maybe he's actually like investigating Kanai Ward incognito in disguise as a ramen shop owner you know people are gonna come to the ramen shop and when they when they're like relaxed and everything he's they're gonna spill their secrets and you know the ramen has got some kind of drugs in it maybe it's like truth telling drugs or whatever and he's gonna like influence the whole population of kanai ward to come and eat his ramen and tell him the truth this man is number one <laughs> um but yeah that's that's uh that's all i kind of have to say about uh my thoughts going into chapter five <laughs> uh anyway i just think this guy has to be important the fact that you know he's been he's been teased he's been teased i want to know i want to know what's going on anyway we're gonna continue now. <laughs> it's time to actually get into the game. So let's go. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> thank you for enjoying my slideshow. <laughs> it is time. It is time to know the truth. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> All right. Chapter five. <sighs> it's time. It's time for the end. Hello. <laughs> Where am I? Shinigami, did you snore? <laughs> um. What is this, a hard game now? <laughs> what, what was that? Where are we? Where are we? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. Is giving me the creeps. If this turns into a horror game, <laughs> I swear. <laughs> well, let's just look around and figure out where we are for now. Well, where the heck are what we? What the heck was that? No, wait. I have to figure out where I even am. Dilapidated shack. Oh. Right, so, uh, before we get, like, fully into this, I need to look at all these updates. <laughs> also, did we- is there profiles for the ramen dude? Like, he doesn't have a profile, so, I'm like, is he actually not important? <laughs> anyway, whatever, let's check it out. What happened? After exposing the truth behind the incident at Amaterasu Lab, he took Yaku's life. See? See? He took Yaku's life with his own hand! Don't you dare give me that like, oh, you didn't kill him, Yuma. You killed him. Look, it even says it in your profile. <laughs> the profile exposing him. Exposing him for being the real killer. That's what I thought, Yuma. <laughs> Thanks, profile. Though filled with anguish, he remembered Yako's last words and vowed to bear the uh, truth behind Kanai Ward, however cruel it may be. Yep, that's us, Yumako Head, a murderer. <laughs> anyway, Yako's dead now. <laughs> In order to avenge his wife who was murdered four years ago, Yako sacrificed his life to murder Dr. Hueska at Amaterasu's lab. Damn. <laughs> Alright. Halara stayed by Yako's side as he lied dying in Amaterasu's lab and tried to keep him alive until Yuma and the others returned. After seeing number one's contempt for Yako's death, Halara voiced strong emotions not typically shown. That's right, we, we're all sad that Yako is dead. 
<laughs> Get that F box, that the the X off now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, after seeing Number One's contempt for Yaku's death following the Amaterasu lab incident, he nearly exploded with rage and disgust. Well, you know who actually just exploded? Jessica Number One. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm liking Desuhiko more and more. If only he wasn't a creep, that would be, like, perfect. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Her desperate to save the dying Yako during the Amaterasu lab incident, she repeatedly turned back time, but unable to go back to before he was attacked, she felt utterly depressed. Upon Yako's death, she wailed uncontrollably. Poor Fubuki. All right. Uh, I need to, like, read Vivio's and, like, really understand his character. <laughs> Having enjoyed the time spent at the agency with Yako, he refused to let the truth of Dr. Huesca's murder come to light. Despite knowing the identity of the culprit, he turned against Yuma inside the mystery labyrinth. But after witnessing Yuma's resolve to face even the most bitter facts, he decided to expose the truth. When he found out Yomi was manipulating Yako, he felt immense frustration and hatred. Damn, not our dad. Not our dad getting manipulated. <laughs> um, after the destruction of the WDO building, his whereabouts are unknown, and so are his robes, because they blew up in the explosion, and now he's like muscle. And we're gonna see his muscly chest. <laughs> Alright, Yomi. So, like, are. Uh, so, is Seth, like, not dead? Like, out of all of the, um, out of all of these people, I thought Seth would be most dead. <laughs> And I also thought Martina would be most dead too. Actually, I didn't. I don't think I checked the profile to see if she had an X on her after we said she was cubed. I don't remember. Anyway, Yomi. He conspired with Dr. Huesca to secretly make deals with corporations outside of uh, Kanai Ward, but when the doctor, doctor double crossed him, uh, Yomi spurred Yako into murdering him. After capturing Yuma and the others, Yomi tried to bury them along with the truth, but Makoto appeared with the in. Uh, incriminating documents that led to Yomi's downfall. He was then arrested and taken away by Martina. <sighs> I still just think it's like, why would he leak information about Amaterasu if he wants to rule it? I still just think that's... I don't know. I don't understand that. Oh, look! <laughs> The, the, the mystery phantom form that's disappointing. Anyway, Makoto saved her moments before her execution and she sought to deliver judgment on Yomi for his crimes. After all of Yomi's misdeeds were revealed and he was arrested, Martuna, uh, Martina took responsibility for her own complicity and resigned from her position and left. Where are you, queen? Where did you go? Uh, whatever. Acting in secret behind the scenes of Dr. Huesca's murder case, he secured documents that led to Yomi's downfall. His, he intends to restructure Amaterasu and the Peacekeepers to bring about a change in the winds of Kanai Ward. The gift he gave to Yuma caused all the master detectives gathered at the Nocturnal Detective Agency to pass out. He's like, hee hee, that's my present. <laughs> Do you guys like to get knocked out? <laughs> it's an amazing feeling. Dr. Huesca is dead. I do not care about this man. <laughs> he colluded with Peacekeeper director Yomi to secretly sell off Amaterasu technology, planning all the while to double-cross Yomi and flee Kanai Ward, attempting to use the turmoil caused by the hitman to fake his own demise. He was instead stabbed and killed by Yako, who sought revenge for his murdered wife. Yomi prompted Yako to commit the murder in order to rid of the backstabbing Dr. Uh, wait. In order to get rid of the backstabbing Dr. Wesco while keeping his own hands clean. Yep. You know, I just feel like Yomi could have just killed him and like nobody could like complain. <laughs> you know, like Yomi, like you kill off Martina and like nobody bats an eye, right? Like he's like, execute her. But like, you can't just be like, oh, by the way, I don't like Dr. Wesco, so he's gonna die. Like, <laughs> you're the leader, or is nobody gonna, like... <laughs> you know, I just think Yomi could've killed him <laughs> and, like, gotten away with it. Anyway, whatever. Uh, a skilled assassin, blah, 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 blah. Fink was hired by Yako, with Yako himself as the target. Yako asked the hitman to kill him to hide his involvement as the murder of Dr. Wesco. Uh, Mr. Fink... <laughs> Mr. Fink, I feel like you, you could have had a bigger role in everything. Anyway, whatever. That's it for the profiles. Okie dokie.
Um. So where are we? Can we go back in here? Nope. We're in some abandoned house? Ruined room. This is... It's a real mess past this point. I don't think we could get any further, no matter how hard we tried. Oh no! We don't have to go there, do we? Let's see what else we can find first! Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Oh yes. So, you guys told me all the, the lost scabs are in this chapter, so... I can see one over there, so don't worry, I won't miss it. <laughs> door. Hmm. This door doesn't seem locked, but the knob's broken, so we can't get through. Hmm. Guess you got no choice but to kick it down. If we run out of places to hide, that might be the only way. But for now, let's look someplace else. Oh! Kurumi! <laughs> I saw her legs! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Girl! Wake up! <laughs> She's Hello? Dead? No, she's not! Okay, good. <laughs> Kurumi, wake up! Kurumi! Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> the way she woke up, like, Yuma <laughs> looked straight at him. Yuma? Where am I? I don't know. I just woke up too. Um... Abandoned neighborhood? What is this place? I've never seen anywhere so... creepy. You don't know where we are either? Okay, this must be the restricted area then. It's raining, so it's probably somewhere in Kanai Ward. But I don't recognize anything here. Okay, wait. I'm forgetting. Did they tell us when this place became restricted? Like, did it happen... Like, was it always restricted? Or did it happen, like, a certain amount of time ago? I can't remember. Who knew there was a place like this in Kanai Ward? There are some rundown shacks over there. Looks like a rural village. Because if it was only, like, recently uh, becoming restricted, then Kurumi, I feel like would know about this place, but if it's always been, like, blocked off, I guess, then she wouldn't- I mean, this doesn't look like a corpse disposal area. Hey, Yuma. Do you remember how you were brought here? Um, let me think. Did I get the gab key? No, like, Kurumi, like, forced me into a cutscene. <laughs> Smoke suddenly came out of my pocket. And I fell unconscious. Ah, wait. <laughs> Why is this flashback image that they are showing us so low quality? <laughs> you couldn't get a you couldn't get a nicer screenshot game. <laughs> it must have been a powerful sedative. You were instantly KO'd. I got knocked out too. And I remember seeing on the news, before I passed out, the WDO building was bombed by a terrorist. Mm-hmm. Huh? It was? Could this be related to the explosion? Who could have done this? The criminal being uh, pursued Makoto? by the World Detective <laughs> Organization? What's going on? This is totally bizarre. And where is everyone else from the detective agency? If they were taken away like we were, then they should be nearby. We should search around here for now. Master, be careful! I'm worried about that weird shadow from earlier! Right. What was that thing? What was that person? <laughs> okay. Chapter 5, and then I was gone. Alright, get me- get the gab. <laughs> Give me the gab. 
White Smoke. The white smoke that knocked out you and others is a novel illegal anesthetic developed by Amaterasu Corporation. Wow. <laughs> Amaterasu Corporation just seems like a great place. Uh, uh, wait, it's can so I go back in? Here. It's like the afterlife. Gab, Gab, please? You have no idea what the afterlife is like, kiddo. Want me to show you the real thing? Oh, whoa, what the heck was that? Come on, let's go. No, 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 let, let's not go. Let, let me back in. <laughs> okay, good. At least I can go back into the building. Give me the gap. Ah. Jesuhiko. Alright. I think I'll do all the gabs once I have all five, or... Maybe if you want me guys uh, to do them as we get them. Just let me know. Uh, Scrap wood. This way's blocked. I don't think I can get through. So? What are you gonna do? Force your way through? No, let's look for other options first. Alright, I don't think there's anything else we can do in here. But if this turns into a survival horror game, I don't know how I'm gonna feel. <laughs> Most people are supposed to be afraid of. You're a ghosty. Kurumi, someone's there. Oh. <laughs> what are they doing? Guys, I'm sure this is fine. I'm sure this is like... <laughs> I'm sure this is a perfectly fine human being who's not gonna attack us or anything. You know? <laughs> uh, do them as you get them. Uh... Oh, okay. Hmm... Check the... Check the hint for this gap? Oh, I can't look at it right now. Okay, um, let me see. Hmm, what are they doing? If they live around here, they might know something. <laughs> this guy just vibing, <laughs> vibing, staring at the corner <laughs> of a of a wall. <laughs> you know, <laughs> don't judge him. <laughs> Wait, you're going to talk to them? I think that's a bad idea. But Banana man? <laughs> we have to find out where we are. It'll be fine, I think. I guess the texture does kind of look like a banana peel. Are you sure about that? Hmm. Uh. Do, do we really have to talk to him? I've got a bad feeling about this. Sh sure. Uh, it's all right. Sh just a little chat. Yeah! Alright, before that, can we do the gumshoe then? Okay, uh, Princess Kaguya in the Bamboo Grove. <laughs> Yoko, <laughs> it's like my last memory <laughs> of him. Uh, this won't fit in the mail. Okay, so some kind of mailbox. Uh, something because I'm scared? Treasure at construction site. Beyond the Red Bridge. Okay. Um, well, you guys want me to do the Desuhiko one right now, yeah? So... Let's let's do it before we talk to the Banana Man. <laughs> it says going home because I'm scared. Oh! I see, I see. That's why they force you to skip it. I see. Cute. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna die in here, are we? <laughs> Where's my buddies? Desuhiko, my bro. Hey, what's wrong, Desuhiko? You called me over, said you wanted to talk? Y yeah, uh, about that. Uh... Are you gonna confess to me, bro? Anyway, isn't it so nice to be up here? <laughs> the line, Desuhiko took me up to the rooftop. <laughs> He 
he's been acting like this for over an hour, not telling me why he called. He's trying to confess. He's trying to confess. Is it something you have trouble talking about? I don't know if you want to ask me a favor or something else, but you'll have to talk about it first. Sorry, you're right. Uh, I'm just a bit afraid, is all. We're busy here, so hurry it up. All right. Confess, confess, here confess, goes. confess, confess, confess. You know, I was thinking, I was like, do I ship anyone? <laughs> do I ship anyone in Raincoat? And it was like, so far, there hasn't been like any major like ship that like stands out to me. But like, I will, I will accept anything, okay? Like, Desahiko, if you want to date me, like, come on, bro. We could, we could do it. We could keep you away from women. <laughs> right. Um, <clears throat> there's a big reason why I called you here today. Ship key with Zilt. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's the biggest ship of this whole, uh, <laughs> this whole playthrough, guys. <laughs> um, will you... M m m marry me? <laughs> join my... Band. My band? My, my, my band. Is this like, <laughs> is this Ibuki's free time event story? <laughs> you want me to join your band? Band? Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, this is too embarrassing. I can't say it. Come on, bro. It's okay. You can tell me all of your feelings. <laughs> Will you join my band and also become my boyfriend? <laughs> That's what he wants to say, right? My man, you should know what I'm trying to get at. Don't worry, bro. I, I got it. I got it. Don't you, don't you worry. <laughs> uh, you sound crazy. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Do something or this won't end. Um, what is he trying to say? Boyfriend, 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 ben boyfriend. What? Boyfriend, boyfriend. Band. Ba banana! <laughs> oh my god, it was foreshadowing! Guys! <laughs> he wants me to join his banana! <laughs> Join both of our bananas together, you know? <laughs> Be. Come on! <laughs> Come on, you know, let's show each other a bana <laughs> bananas! <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Yes, alright, Desiko, I will join your banana. <laughs> let's just, let's touch banana! <laughs> All right, everybody, put some bananas in the chat. <laughs> put some bananas in the chat. Banana. <laughs> banana. 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 <laughs> Join my banana. <laughs> yeah, bananas. Yeah, I haven't had any in a while. <laughs> Wait, no. He hasn't had a banana in a while. S sorry Banana. I guess that's not it. No, it was totally it. <laughs> uh, Desuhiko was trying to talk about... Desuhiko even kind of dressed like a banana. <laughs> you want to say band? Yeah. Y yeah. Uh, how about... We form a band. <laughs> Why do you seem so unsure about that? <laughs> it's like, uh, actually, it was going to try to ask you to be my boyfriend, but uh, 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 smooth, smooth save. <laughs> huh? A band? Master's going to join a band? You know, stars and bands go hand in hand. Mm hmm. Don't know, don't know if I like what your hands are doing right now. <laughs> I always plan on going solo, but 
know, sharing the spotlight with a buddy of mine wouldn't be such a bad thing. For the first time in my life, I finally met someone I'd want to form a band with. Oh, <gasps> really? <laughs> Can we sing? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's because I finally <gasps> met you. My man. My man. Guys, we're his man. You want my man? <laughs> Desuhiko, my man. <laughs> so true, so true. My man. Desuhiko. Oh, Desuhiko, my man. How about it? Do you want to make a band together? Let's journey on a path towards stardom side by side. Banana by banana. What? Uh... What'll you do, Master? What do I do? I'm happy Desuhiko invited me, but I don't know how to play any instruments. Besides, I'm not interested in joining a band or being a star. <laughs> Sorry, I'm happy that you asked, but... <sighs> I'd rather we, we shared our bananas, actually. <laughs> this is the truth of Kanai Ward. <laughs> <sighs> I see. I guess you don't wanna... I guess you don't want to see my banana. <laughs> I don't know if this makes up for it, but how about I support you as a fan? I'll be your biggest fan! Huh? M my fan? No way. I can't agree to that. Besides, uh, you've never heard me sing before. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> it's like, why? Are you saying you're terrible? <laughs> You say you're terrible at singing, then why even make a band? Unless you just play the instrument. And you want to call yourself my fan? <laughs> I doubt it. You're just offering because you feel awkward for turning down my invitation. I'd rather you just completely reject me instead of saying that to make me feel better. Out of context. No, deep down, I want to be your fan. I want to be your banana! <laughs> You told me before how you chose to be both a star and a detective. I think you're really cool for not giving up on either dream. Oh, he's so cool, guys. My man. And in that sense, I'm already your fan. I'm your banana. <laughs> if I can't be your banana, I'll be your banana. <laughs> That's why I'm serious about wanting to support you. <laughs> Well, if that's the case, I don't mind having you as a fan. But I still hate that you've never heard me sing. Sing for me now. Serenade me, my man. So listen to one of my songs. <laughs> I'm right your now. banana. <laughs> my banana. <laughs> oh, sing for me, Desuiko. <laughs> huh? You're going to sing right here, right now? Yeah, my brand new banger, the song of my man. <laughs> my man, my banger, my ba bang banger, my banger nana, my banana anger, <laughs> my my manana, the song of my manana. To be honest, it was hard to evaluate if Desuhiko's song was good or bad. Damn it, they should have made him sing something. <laughs> I'm not sure myself because I don't know much about music. But like his personality, the song was very straightforward and heartfelt. Be my bad boy, be my man, be my weakness, but don't be my friend. <laughs> you can be my banana, but understand that I don't need you in my life again. <laughs> Would you be my banana? Be my banana. <laughs> I believe Desuhiko will be able to achieve his dream of becoming a star. 
don't know why, but I think it'll come true. And then he'll be my star nana. <laughs> Tsuhiko have forged the ultimate bond together. Oh, ultimate bond. Wow. Glad you're my first, <laughs> Tsuhiko. Good for you, Master. I'm happy for you. Yay. My banana. <laughs> the ultimate bond nana. <laughs> bond. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, fast acting and quick dispersing traces of its usage are rare. Wow. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Locker room murmurs, impossible crime, military weapon heists, many more unknown atrocities are occurring across the world. Only the World Detective Organization can fight back. Wow, <laughs> the world kind of sucks, doesn't it? Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, my banana man. <laughs> My banana mana. Alright. It's time for another banana mana. Master, is this really okay? <laughs> We're just Hi. gonna talk, so it should be okay. Right? Hmm. Um, excuse me. Don't jump scare me, alright, bro? <laughs> uh, hello? Are in a different genre now. <laughs> a zombie? No way! He attacked us on sight! He didn't even try to talk! Master, we gotta get out of here! You know what, Yuma? Good job! Good job for pushing them away. Uh, you have some strength in you. Also, I, I is this know. a stealth mission now? <laughs> Banana man? Oh, I can't go Why? back. Why are they attacking? Anyway. Stop complaining and run! Go, go, go! Alright, I'm not allowed back there. Uh, alright guys, I'm gonna be such a gamer and like definitely not run into any... Zombies, I guess. <laughs> definitely. Take another path, right? Oh! Okay, never mind. <laughs> Wait, am I not supposed to go down this way then? Mm. More zombies up ahead! No! We have to change routes! Okay, I. So, what? Is, are they not even gonna chase me? <laughs> Come on, guys, I'm delicious! <laughs> okay, it won't, it won't even let me go, like, it won't even let me try, like, go past them. Where should I run to? Um... Okay. Gabs? Gabs? Any gabs? <laughs> any... any gabs? No. Oh god. Wait, okay. Um, zombies? <laughs> are, are these all the, like, people from, like, Failed homunculus experimentation, then maybe, maybe if they didn't become a homunculus, they became a zombie. Where, where am I supposed to go? I see the the exclamation mark, but I'm not seeing where. It's this car. No, nothing. Okay then. I'll keep going then. I think we can get in that building. Let's hide there for now. Yeah. Mm, nothing here. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> I 
I get they wanted me to go a certain path, but like, <laughs> could that not be a quick time event, me dodging zombies? <laughs> there was definitely something wrong with those people. And it wasn't just one or two, but a whole mob. If they all attack at once, you'll be torn to shreds, Master! We need something to defend ourselves. Let's look for something we can use as weapons. The gab! The gab will surely protect us! Okay, what do you have to say? What do we do? I have to find something quick. Hmm. There's gotta be something we can use. Gab! Alara time. Alright. <laughs> Alright, hello, let's go. This won't fit in the mail. <laughs> that doesn't even look like a mailbox, am I wrong? <laughs> Alright, hello, do you have something to say about bananas? <laughs> Halar's like, um, I actually hate bananas. <laughs> it's like, oh! Yeah, bananas are actually my least favorite fruit. It's like, oh, I, did, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Halara asked for me, so I'm at the cafe. <gasps> I should charge you. <laughs> I should charge you for that. You asking for my time, Halara? Uh, that's gonna cost 5 million shien. <laughs> 6 million even. Um, Halara? Did you want something from me? Do you really have to ask? It's about your debt, obviously. <laughs> well... How do you plan on paying me back? Uh, Uno reversed, actually. <laughs> I, uh, um, did, sorry. Well, you can't do anything but apologize. Sorry, Alar, I'm poor. <laughs> it appears you have no repayment plan in place. If you don't change that soon, I will consider implementing interest. Ah, uh... please don't. Then you better come up with a plan to pay me back. Halara, I'm just a little guy. <laughs> it's like Desuhiko. Hey, my man. <laughs> it's like, you want to be my my forever man? My manana? And Halara's like, um, I would like my money now, please. <laughs> uh, all right. But if all you wanted to talk about was my dead, why would you invite me here? We could have gone over it at the agency. I don't want you to grow accustomed to owing me. People lose their sense of urgency in paying back debts when complacent. That's why I'm reminding you right now. I see. It's not my place to say since I'm the one in debt here, but don't you make enough money as a detective, Halara? Exactly. By putting people into debt, Yuma, and you still haven't paid me, so like, I'm not gonna get any richer <laughs> if you don't pay me. You're always trying to make more. What do you need all that money for anyway? <laughs> I suppose I can tell you. If Hilara says something like, I'm building a cat shelter, or something cute like that, I'll be like, alright. <laughs> alright, Hilara. I understand. <laughs> huh? If I continue to save at this rate, I will be able to create a program in about six years. Alright, alright, we're, we're on the right track. A program in six years. For cats, right? For cats, right? That is what the money is for. A program? A program that will save 40% <laughs> of all cats around the world experiencing hardship. Ah! Uh, I'm- my brain is so big! <laughs> Cat boys real? <laughs> Yes, like, a program that will turn 30% of boys into cat boys all around the world. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> We're gonna save the kitties! <laughs> We're gonna save 30% of all cats. What? Oh. Uh, hmm. That caught me so off guard that I don't know what to say. You want to start a charity? No, not a charity. This is all for my personal satisfaction. Cats provide a healing experience, so I want to give back to them in some way. Alara! 
Alara cute. <laughs> Alara dropped this crown. <laughs> is Alara that predictable? No, guys, I, I just know. My brain is so huge. <laughs> that's amazing. How wonderful. <laughs> it's like, that's right, Yuma. It is amazing. And it is wonderful. So, you know, by not paying me right now, you are denying 30% of cats around the world. <laughs> it's like, oh no! <laughs> Guilty conscience! Yeah, as I said, this is all for my personal satisfaction. I don't want to hear your praise for it. Oh, but if it's so important, why did you tell me? Because then you'll pay me. I didn't even threaten you or anything. Yes, about that. I'm sure you already know this, but... A detective can lose their life at any moment. Yeah, you did teach me that. So if I were to die, I want you to carry out this plan for me. Oh my god, I'm gonna be the cat dad. <laughs> I've been thinking it over for a while. I figured this was a good time to tell you. Huh? Why me though? I'll be the cat king! You are <laughs> cat king! Cowboy King, let's go. <laughs> I'm not sure myself. What do you think? Oh, we both like cats. To replace the debt I owe, I'm trustworthy. <laughs> no, uh, I think Alara would be like, no, you still owe me the money. <laughs> we both like cats. Maybe? I don't know. I feel like Kalara wouldn't say I'm trustworthy. I'm gonna go with this one, because Alara's probably gonna be like, no. <laughs> oh, but I do like this one. Okay, whatever. We both like cats, right? Because... I like cats like you do? Don't get ahead of yourself. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> You're nothing like me. <laughs> it is true you are a cat lover, but it's quite obvious I am on an entirely different level. <laughs> You're not as much of a cat lover as I am, Yuma. <laughs> Don't try to even, like, come on my level. I'd appreciate it if you'd never call yourself a cat lover in front of me again. <laughs> Gatekeep! <laughs> Gatekeeping cat loving! That's right. <laughs> they them boss. Gatekeep. <laughs> Debt collect. <laughs> You're so strict about this. Well, guess I was wrong. Then in that case... Could it be that it's because you trust me? I hope I'm not assuming too much there. Incorrect. No matter who it is, I will not trust any human. So it is not accurate to say, I trust you. I see. Damn. <laughs> However, I wouldn't mind being betrayed by you. <laughs> what what does this even mean? Like, um, I wouldn't mind being betrayed by you because, like, I know you can't run away. And, uh, I could easily take you down. So, if you tried to betray me, I wouldn't mind because you're not gonna get away with it, Eva. <laughs> it's like, oh! Oh, I see! I see! Uh... Or rather, I would accept a betrayal at your hands. Huh? Isn't that practically the same as trusting me? In my mind, it's entirely different. I don't trust you. Okay. But the way you said you wouldn't mind if I betrayed you... That makes me way happier than if you just said you trusted me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yuma, Yuma, I feel like... <laughs> hey guys, would you be happy if someone said... I don't mind if you betrayed me, but I don't trust you. <laughs> like, would, would you be happy about that? <laughs> I think I would want someone to trust me. It's like, Yuma, Yuma's like been so messed up in the head. He's like, actually, I will accept the bare minimum. <laughs> I will accept the bare minimum here. <laughs> uh, anyway, we were discussing something else. You will pay your debt to me in full. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> For the sake of the cats. 
<laughs> this isn't a laughing matter, you know. <laughs> Master, you and Halara have forged the ultimate bond together. And the ultimate debt. Good for you, Master. I'm happy for you. Make sure you paid it off. <laughs> wow, am I like a genius or what? I knew it was gonna be related to cats. <laughs> What's Fubuki's? Fubuki's gonna be like, you know what? We're we're gonna keep going on uh d d d stuff adventures together. Okay, Kurumi's duffel coat, a gift from her grandfather to celebrate her entrance to junior high school. A strawberry and green apple depicted on it. Her absolute favorites, but not a banana. <laughs> Kurumi's not our banana. <laughs> not our banana lover. That's gotta be Desuhiko. <laughs> Desuhiko, you should have a banana on your coat, actually. <laughs> Alright, is there... Oh, we need a weapon, right? That's this. Envelope? Hmm? An envelope? There's a letter inside. Evacuation order. Yesterday, toxic gas was discovered to be leaking from the nearby mines. This area has been purchased by Amaterasu Corporation and has been designated as off-limits. A gas leak. All residents are hereby requested to evacuate the area immediately. An evacuation order from Amaterasu Corp. I see. I think I know where we are. Yuma, this is the restricted area. Supposedly, it was a tiny village that was abandoned due to a toxic gas leak from a nearby mine. How long ago? Ever since then, the whole area has been restricted. I feel like we need some so spedif uh, spe specific, <laughs> specific times. Isn't this where the corpse processing facility is supposed to be? Desi Thunderbolt likes banana, dislikes banana haters. <laughs> so true, so true, King. <laughs> this is becoming more of a horror story by the minute. Spooky, spooky, spooky! Oh yeah, that rumor. I need to confirm it with Kurumi. Kurumi, there's something I need to ask you. Huh? What is it? Halara was investigating the restricted area and mentioned something. Oh, right. Uh, the... The... The uh, weak... <laughs> the weak something. In Kanai Ward, corpses rot easily due to the humidity from the rain so they are quick to retrieve bodies. The corpses are then loaded onto trucks and transported to the restricted area for disposal. But that process is managed by a department with a handful of people working directly for Amaterasu's CEO. Ah oh, yeah, the blank week mystery. That's what it was. <laughs> Thank you, guys. On top of that, they are only involved in transportation. They aren't aware of what happens afterwards. How the bodies are buried, and who buries them, is a mystery. Hmm... Really? So the rumors about it being a corpse processing facility... were true? I thought you'd know. No, I don't. But... why a corpse processing facility? <laughs> Wait, are the kidnapped people working at, at the corpse processing blah 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 blah, blah facility? <laughs> Maybe Amaterasu is secretly disposing bodies used for human experimentation. That's what I think. If that's the case, what if bodies coming back to life was an unexpected side effect of the experiment? Would that mean they really are zombies? But that can't be. A corpse can't come back to life. Aren't zombies supposed to be dead? They sure didn't smell like corpses to me. They didn't smell? <laughs> They're not stinky? Okay. Huh? But they didn't really seem alive, either. What are they? 
If the story of the toxic gas from the mines is true, these could be the residents suffering from it. Anyway, we'll make some of that info a solution key just in case. Mm, the gas is making everyone zombies? The restricted area of Kanai Wood where zombie like creatures wander. Huh. Oh no, three bananas! <laughs> Get away, bananas! <laughs> Huh? Karina? Karina? Uh... <laughs> Wait a second. So... They're zombies now? Wait, wait, wait. So they died, they have no soul, and their bodies were taken away to be processed here. Uh, does that mean they don't even have to be experimenting on alive people? They're trying to turn dead people into homunculi? Is that it? But like, it's not working. And, or maybe it is working. Or, <laughs> huh? <laughs> wait, wait. Hmm. Does that? Hmm. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Cartman. Uh, so this is what happens when bananas split. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for the super chat. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So they're zombies now? Are you telling me... That everyone who died in this game is a zombie? Guys... My zombie forte! My zombie forte <laughs> theory at the very beginning of the game! Uh, hmm, okay. We'll, we'll keep going, we'll keep going. But I have, I, have, I have things, I have things to think about. Is everyone, uh, is dad, is dad a zombie? Oh, I thought they all died. It is Zilch a zombie? <laughs> okay, wait a second. Okay, okay, calm down. Are you really zombies? Were all three of you turned into zombies? Uh, uh, oh. Uh, uh, I think we're in the wrong genre! Zombies don't show up in mystery titles! Uh -huh. Oh, they could. Hey, Master! You better scram before you get eaten! Kurumi, let's run! Wait, where's Aiko? Yeah. <laughs> You're telling me they're, they're not hanging out with zombie Ico. <laughs> what? Now they're firing arrows at us? Zombies can't use weapons? Well, they could. Hey, there's a letter on the arrow. <sighs> Kurumi, let's hide. This way. Let's go! Are they still down there? What in the world? Okay, people are getting turned into zombies here in Kanai Ward. Are zombies immortal? <laughs> A letter on an arrow. Talk about old fashioned. What does it say? Warning. Warning. What does the thing on the back say? Ne neku. Neku roll? Nekurol? A gorilla? Gori... Gori o... Whatever. I have no idea what that means in the back. Warning! Homunculi are predisposed to eating human flesh. 
in order to maintain the artificial organic synthesis in their cells. Wait. <laughs> Are, wait, so... Okay, the zombies... The zombies are residents of Kanai Ward. We have... A kidnapping from all over the world. Are zombies and homunculi the same thing? And they're eating human flesh. Are... are we kidnapping people to feed zombies? <laughs> uh... okay, well, uh, hmm... Are we killing people to feed zombies? What? <laughs> Currently, there are no alternate sources of nutrition. And they grow sick if they do not consume human flesh. Okay, so, like, clearly they're zombies, but... Are zombies failed to homunculi? And they're... Edie. Like, can, can we not kill a zombie? Can we not kill zombies? Particularly malnourished specimens will attack any human on sight. So please do your best to be careful. From the Amaterasu Homunculus Research Department. Homunculi? Attack humans? They eat human flesh. Wait, so those zombies roaming around here... Those were homunculi? The immortal monsters Grandpa talked about? Oh. Huh. Then... Yoshiko and the others back there were just homunculi too? So, as soon as people die, they get experimented on. Uh, Kanai will... Like, so Makoto has not perfected homunculi, I guess? So, like, they keep experimenting on people and keep making failures, which turn into zombies. But, wait a second. <laughs> so... So, wait, like, so even if you are successful homunculi, you still gotta eat humans? Is that what we're saying? Why are we trying to make homunculi again? <laughs> They looked so real. What exactly are they? <laughs> look at this picture. You were so small. <laughs> the homunculi who wander around the restricted area seem to subsist on human flesh. <sighs> so homunculi are zombie. We at least know they're dangerous. We should get out of here, Master. Let's go, Kurumi. We need to leave this village right now. I don't even want to imagine what'll happen if they catch us. We gotta get out of here. Where's everyone else? I bet Halara could uh kick a zombie. <laughs> right? <laughs> right, Halara, you're you're safe, right? <laughs> We can get out this way. Mm, that way, okay. Let me just check if there's any any gaps. Okay. Is this where Run! we just were? Uh, this is no good. We have to find a safe place. Okay. Alright, I guess I'll just follow where they want me to go. Anywhere here? So we got zombies. 
clearly. Um... Well, that's a shame. I wish I could, like, explore more of these buildings, but... I feel like they're just trying to go in a certain path. Okay. Well, let's keep going. All these, like, blue firefly thingy-majiggies are, like... <laughs> really distracting. I always feel like there's a gap somewhere. Hey, wait, is that the... the priest? The one sitting over there... Is that the priest from the Nailman case? That one seems a bit calmer than the rest. He's like, I'm no banana. <laughs> Maybe we can talk to him. What? This is a bad idea. <sighs> what do we do? Uh, please be careful. Yeah. Right, stand back in just in case. Uh, yeah, Yuma, I'm sure this place full of zombies uh, is gonna have just one sane person. <laughs> right? Stop already! You'll just get attacked again if you try to talk. But I might learn something new or figure a way out of here. You'll, you'll be fine, right? Fine. Um, father? Oh god, he's Do got like veins and stuff me? everywhere. Mm. <laughs> Hello? Ah! 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 Bee! Bee! Ah! Ah! Uh... <laughs> Well, um, hey guys. Father? <laughs> Don't mind me. Do you I'm a zombie now. <laughs> God, what the heck? <laughs> what? Why did you come from the sky? Oh my god, the worshipper! These people are supposed to be dead. <laughs> what is a homunculus anyway? That's what I want to know. Ah! Ah, ah, get off me! <laughs> Didn't fail that one. <laughs> Shut your ass! <laughs> no! God damn it! <laughs> it already got in the way. Ah! Oh frick! Ah no! No! Um. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Nah, sucker! Let's go! <laughs> A fence! Does it surround the whole village? Sorry guys, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> That's right. This is the restricted area. But I think we can climb over it. I'll go first, Karumi. You follow after. What, can zombies not... Or homunculus, whatever. Can, basically, they're zombies. Can zombies not climb over a fence? Wait, the fence might be. <laughs> <laughs> wow, how convenient that one zombie just happened to like face plant right into the the fence and everything. Okay, well, I guess it's electric then. An electric fence? Thanks, sacrificial zombie. I knew something was odd. You would have been roasted if you touched it. Ugh. How are we going to get out of here now? 
Let's search for an opening in the fence. Oh, Yuma, look! The sound must have drawn them here. Uh, how much will I react to in a drawn towards sound? What? <laughs> what sound? You mean the sound of the one zombie getting fried? Uh, he hello. Oh no! They noticed us. We have to run. Let's shout! Let's shout even more! <laughs> Let's shout even more! Run, Yuma! This way! Specifically! <laughs> Let's go! Ah, there are zombies over here, too! Hey, girlies! <laughs> Have you seen Aiko? She's probably around here, right? <sighs> What the heck? How there's so many more people? I I don't know. No, baby boy! Ah! Well But do zombies just not care about heels. They're like, oh, that's a, that's a bit too dangerous. I'm not you going down there. This is getting old. Wake up! You might get up. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby boy. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Yuma, what's that? Ah, you see, this is the. Corpse disposal. Such a <laughs> building. I can hear something inside. Clearly. It's so massive. Just what is going on in there? Well, well we're not going to find any answers out here. Let's go in. Is there any gabs out here? Hmm. I don't see any. So what, we like fell from like way up there? Ow. <laughs> Ow. Oh, finally. Oh, there it is! <laughs> Bubuki time. <laughs> right next to the toilet, too. Hmm. Construction site. Uh, it's one of those temporary toilets they always have at construction sites. Hmm? So, does that mean some construction work was being carried out? Looks like a permanent fixture, though. It must belong to a toilet collector living nearby. I don't think so. Hmm. Well. Um. Honestly, not sure how I feel about <laughs> zombies. Uh, these lights are incredibly bright. I guess this place would be pitch black without them. No. But Yuma, if they're switched on right now... Yes, yeah, someone is watching over this area. But you better tread carefully. Alright. Let's go with the gab. Fubuki time. If- if- <laughs> If Yako's like the last one we get... We're like, No, Dad! <laughs> Alright, Fubuki, what do you want? Um... Fubuki's gonna be like, we're gonna go on adventures together, Yuma. You and I. Adventure duo. <laughs> I'm gonna make you rich, <laughs> Yuma. <laughs> you insisted on zombies. I know! The zombie forte. It's really coming true, guys. <laughs> Fubuki's gonna be our woman. <laughs> My woman. <laughs> I am sorry to have called you here, Yuma. It's okay. What's wrong? You said you wanted to talk. Well, about that, I... Perhaps... Maybe... Yuma, I believe I may be in love with you. Romantically. 
Uh, my woman, Nana? <laughs> really? <laughs> You're in love with me? Uh, uh, huh? Everyone in the chat right now, everyone in the chat is like, yes! Yes! <laughs> she loves us, guys! She loves us! <laughs> My woman, Nana! What? Oh? Did you not hear me? Then I shall say it again. I may be in love with you romantically, Yuma. What? What? Whenever I think of you, my heart feels warm and fuzzy. It's so anguished as well. <laughs> I thought uh. maybe this is the romantic feeling that people keep talking about. Th th that's impossible! Th totally impossible! There must be some confusion. Maybe your mind is playing tricks on you. If someone as attractive as you would never fall for someone like me. Oh, shit! Oh, do you really think so? I find you quite <laughs> an attractive man, Yuma. Sure! What is going on? What is going on? I, this is going a completely different direction than I thought it was. I thought she would be like, come on, let's go on an adventure together. It's like, okay, let's go wherever you want to go. From She's like, actually, I think I'm in love with you. <laughs> I, I can't believe you think that. Alright, do you guys think Yuma's handsome? Attractive, attractive man? <laughs> hey! Quit being all happy about it! Well, I did not bring you here today to confess these feelings to you. <laughs> you, you didn't? <laughs> Rather, if these truly are romantic feelings, I wish to thank you for them. Huh? Thank me? To tell you the truth, I have never had romantic feelings for anyone until now. Hmm... <laughs> Guys, I, I think she might be a bit confused. <laughs> I have had an arranged fiancé ever since I was little. Oh! Okay. Due to that, I subconsciously kept myself from falling for anyone. Although I yearned for those feelings of love, I knew I must not harbor them. Oh. Do, do you know who your fiancé is? I worried I would never fall in love. I have always felt such disappointment in myself because of it. But now, I have fallen for you and can experience what it is like. Man, the clock mare shippers are in shambles right now. <laughs> no! <laughs> so, I wish to thank you for helping me learn what romance is. That's all. I just wanted to give my thanks. It's like, I'm in love with you for you. Okay, well, bye! <laughs> oh, in that case, I'm glad I could help. I guess? But wait, don't you have a fiancé? Having feelings for someone else is just going to end up making you sad. Clockbolt shippers are crying too. <laughs> Not at all. I have decided to talk to my father about turning down my arranged marriage. Really? Are you sure? After all, wasn't that decided by the Clockford family? Of course, it is vital to defend our family traditions and to obey my parents. All my life, I have lived with that as my highest priority. But now, I have decided to forge my own future. I have been thinking about it ever since I started working with you all at the agency. I see. She's choosing her own future. I'm glad she can look at it that way. I'm happy for her. But even still, I think you may be mistaken about your feelings for me. You, you don't love me, right? Hmm. Are you sure? It is true I have zero experience with romance, so I cannot say for certain. Well then, how about this? 
Once I am able to confirm with certainty that my feelings are romantic in nature... Oh my gosh. Then, at that moment, will you hear my confession once more? Fubuki is so cute. <laughs> I gotta say, like, like this is all kind of ridiculous right now, but like, this, this, this is kind of cute, you know? She's, she's just cute. Oh! <laughs> oh! Guys! Oh! <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Even if you confess to me now... Um... Mmm... I gotta go with the O. Oh. Well, if you really do have romantic feelings for me, then sure. Oh! <laughs> Thank you very much. Please, consider your response for when I next confess my love for you. Would that mean I'd become heir to the Crawford legacy? Yes! All the money in the world to pay back my debt! Let's go! <laughs> no way, it has to be a misunderstanding. Uh, it has to be, right? <laughs> Master, you and Fubuki have forged the ultimate bond together. Wait, was O the right answer? <laughs> She's like, yes, finally, I confessed my feelings, and now we will schedule a meeting in the future in case I want to confess again. <laughs> Good for you, Master. I'm happy for you. I may know nothing about myself, but now I have my, my time queen. <laughs> my clock queen. Yuma Clockford. <laughs> That's right, I adopt her her surname instead of her adopting. <laughs> it's like Fubuki Coco Head. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe that's suitable for her, actually. <laughs> well, that was a completely different uh, ending than I was uh, expecting. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Alright guys, call her Fubuki Coco Head from now on. <laughs> Looks like we can get in here. Hmm. Big building. We got confessed to twice today. <laughs> We're being gatekept from being a cat lover, but at least we got our manana and our woman nana. <laughs> we got all the bananas! Hello? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hello? <laughs> Looks like some kind of factory. It's dark and creepy. But it still seems to be functioning. <laughs> Hala Nana. <laughs> Vivian Nana. Yako Nana. <laughs> Dad Nana. <laughs> but Bye no Nana. <laughs> in the restricted area. What kind of factory is this anyway? Factory operating in the restricted area of Kana Ward, where no one should be. Unmanned <laughs> factory. I smell blood. Blood. Huh? Blood? Maybe there's something here that's related to the restricted area. This could be dangerous, but we should look inside. I'm surprised that the door wasn't locked or anything. We could just come in here. Right. We won't be safe no matter where we go anyway. This factory feels so creepy. If you spot any red or green herbs, be sure to pick it up. That seems like a reference to something, but I don't know what. We're in a factory. The last time I was in a factory in a Dagarava game was for Monokumas. <laughs> I 
there gotta be zombies in here. <laughs> Hello? What's that? Eggs? Chicken eggs? <laughs> I don't know! Fa a facility site! Looks like hmm? rows of chicken eggs. <laughs> Why is this machine operating? There's nobody here to run it. So the banana factory, guys! Bananas! Uh, are we doing the whole chapter of the stream? There's an epilogue in this game too. Um, I don't know. I don't know how long this chapter is. I I, I assume we're gonna split it up as well. So, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but it does seem like there are no side quests this chapter, so it might just be two episodes or two streams for this this chapter. We'll see. Uh, why is this machine operating? There's nobody here to run it. Say. I'm getting nothing but bad vibes here! Be careful, monster! What are they building in this factory? Bananas. It's just too dark. Oh. Well, those don't look like They're bananas. Over here too. <laughs> the smell of blood could be coming from them. Maybe they ate someone. Maybe, but who? A conveyor belt. Bananas. It looks like they're making something. What's on top of it? Let's go in a bit further and find out. Doesn't it look like cartons of eggs? <laughs> like massive eggs? <laughs> What's wrong? Master! Nothing. It's just... I got a feeling we shouldn't go any further. Huh? Why? We might find out the secret of the restricted area. I know, but... Well, how about you wait right here? I'll go and look. Don't, stupid! <laughs> Come back here! Hey, Kurumi! Master, don't tell me you're scared after coming this far. Scared? Of course I am. I just know the truth awaits us up ahead in the guise of a monster. Will I really be able to face it? If you don't like it, you can always run away. No, I'll go. Shinigami, are you prepared to go with me? Don't need it's to like... ask twice. I'm <laughs> I have no choice. <laughs> I have no choice. Literally, we're soul bonded. <laughs> okay, can I do anything here? No. What the heck are zombies doing in here? What the heck are they? What is this? What is that? <laughs> I thought we were making zombies in here. Kurumi, are you here? Kurumi. Yuma, look! I thought they'd be making something horrible. But it's just meat buns. Oh, look it's meat nice buns. And fresh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, 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 all right. Meat. Meat buns. Meat buns, huh? I think... Okay, either... Either these are perfectly fine meat buns and they've just got drugs in them. Or... We might be thinking about some other kinds of meats in there. And... Are we eating people? <laughs> are Wait, are we eating homunculi? Like, maybe... Maybe, like, um... Or are we eating kidnapped people? Oh, no, I don't know anymore. <laughs> uh, because, like, you know, if there's, like, too many homunculi, right? They're gonna, like, start killing people. So, like, do, are we are we chopping up homunculi and eating them? Or are we chopping up people and eating them? 
Like, clearly, this is what it's leading to, right? Not just some innocent me bun. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! I gave- I made Yuva eat me buns! Wait, no, wait, we, we haven't seen Yako yet. Is Yako now a meat bun? Yako, no! Can you imagine if, like, we're like, oh, we're, we're accepting our dad's death. And he's like, oh, I really like meat buns. I'm gonna be a meat bun. No! We're gonna find a Yako Mi bun. No, Kurumi. Oh, uh, stay in. Huh? <laughs> Mi buns. But why here in the restricted area? Oh no. Welcome to the Kanai Ward Special Food Facility Tour. What the? Is this some sort of tour guide? This factory operates 24 hours a day to provide safe and secure food to the people of Kanai Ward. Sheesh, that's actually a lot of meat buns. What the heck is going on? This is where they make the meat buns we always eat? All factory manufacturing is fully automatic, so there's no staff on hand. <laughs> and we just have a couple of zombies uh, looking around for some reason. So there aren't any workers around? Up ahead, we shall demonstrate how the specialty food is produced. I wonder if our presence here automatically triggered it to go off. I'm not sure. It feels like it was talking to us. That announcement sounds like a trap to me. But we can't turn back now. I've made up my mind. We're cannibals. Oh, you're acting more like a detective now. You must have one hell of a mentor. Oh my god. I was just thinking like, do you think Yako ate his wife? <laughs> <laughs> do you think like <laughs> do you think they made his wife into a meat bun? <laughs> and then they were like, oh sorry for your loss. Hey, here's a meat bun. Cheer up. It's like no <sighs> Kurumi, let's keep moving. Was there an Ico meat bun? Is that why we didn't see her? Yeah. I'm not so scared as long as I'm with you. Uh, Kurume, I think you should just go home. Uh, I think you should leave. Uh, how, how, how many meat buns have you eaten in your life, Kurume? Um... Wait, uh, wait a second, is, is Zilch a meat bun? <laughs> give me, give me my Zilch meat bun, alright? I'll eat that one. <laughs> Oh my god. See, why the heck are zombies in here, though? Why would you let the zombies be in here? Okay, um... Oh wait, uh, could we go that way? What's here? Oh, there's an Alba Pal over there. Uh... I think somebody just died over there. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's called a special food facility, but they're just making meat buns? Maybe they're using specially chosen meat. Like there's a flavor unique to this factory. Oh, don't you know it, yeah, Shinigami? Somehow I don't think that's it. Special yeah, meat, huh? that was my idea, but I don't think so either. Um... <laughs> hey guys! Oh, there's a lot of them here, too. They're coming this way! Uh, do not touch me, please. Note that there are no staff in this factory, but there are many hungry individuals wandering about. Please be mindful. As they are partial to fresh food. Fresh food? It's talking about us! See? I 
told you it was a trap! How are you gonna get out of this? We can't go to the mystery labyrinth without a case to solve! How do we get away from these zombies? Use sound. Use electricity. Use the pipe? What pipe? <laughs> Use electricity? Okay, what pipe? <laughs> I wonder if I can use the pipes in the factory. What do you mean? <laughs> I was thinking about spraying the steam from the pipes of the zombies or something. Hmm. I don't know if that would work. You might burn yourself trying that. Guys, I think we should run. <laughs> um. Oh, right. I should try something else. They're like just still approaching us right now. Use electricity. <laughs> That's right. The zombies that touched the fence were repelled. If we had a strong electrical current, maybe we could deal with the zombies. But where will you get the electricity from? I can use the AED. <gasps> That's smart. Uh, are you sure you can deal with all those zombies with a single AED? I guess it will be tricky. No, this method isn't good enough. I have to think of a better way. Fine. Sound. We're talking right now. I know. Sound. The <laughs> yes, sapping sound know. from the electric fence drew their attention. So some sort of loud sound may distract them. <laughs> like me, talking really loudly right now. All right. It's worth a shot. AED. I, I don't know what AED stands for, like, specifically, but I think it's like a defibrillator, right? Hey, Master! Don't you think that Omapel over there might do the trick? Why is it... What, what's on its head? <laughs> uh... What if I just, like, run past them? Nope! Oh, okay. That's not great. What the heck is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> Good, it's working. The sound is distracting them. Oh wow, how convenient! There was an iPad on the floor that just happened to control the robot and the robot can make a noise and then it throws out me What the heck? <laughs> what was that for? <laughs> I was like, oh, thank goodness there's this convenient iPad on the floor <laughs> Yuma, look! That spot where the zombies were gathered What were they all flocking to? We should really go check it out. Uh, convenient iPad, thanks. You wanna you wanna keep this Yuma? It seems very helpful. Um <laughs> What's this? Blower? I see. I hardly even know her. Um <laughs> it looks like this machine's blowing air into the conveyor section. I said. Well, this is a food factory, so maybe it's to keep the place sanitary. Okay, hello? Maybe. Yeah, ah! There are bones <laughs> everywhere. Didn't anyone teach them not to leave their scraps behind? <laughs> I just thought it was another banana man! No, it's the banana man! <laughs> what? I just thought it was another rain, yellow raincoat person. What in the? <laughs> oh my god! They, <laughs> they ate my boy, <laughs> my man. Alpen, <laughs> they ate him like banana. <laughs> they took off the peel and everything. This has to be fake, right? <laughs> Jesse, you can't just be dead. 
Well, they're like, <laughs> don't you love, don't you all love all the characters and Yako? <laughs> He's dead, right? <laughs> but at least you have all these gumshoe gaps to talk to everyone one last time, right? Right? <laughs> Desuiko, no! <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. Wait, what, what were they even saying? Maybe. I, I think I skipped a line, but what? These clothes belong to Tesuhiko. My man. My man, Nana. No. Huh? Tesuhiko? The shorty detective got eaten? No. It can't be. Okay, 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 wait, 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 let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think, I gotta use my brain, I gotta use my brain right now, okay? Let me think, they, <laughs> would Kodaka, like, he, he's, he's going on, like, chapter zero, <laughs> let's kill off five characters, let's kill five characters right in the chapter zero, <laughs> um, evil, and then what, like, the last chapter, <laughs> you thought they were safe, I'm gonna kill them all as well, <laughs> No one's gonna be alive in the end of this game, says Kodaka. He'll be like, no, Kodaka, no! But, okay. <laughs> okay, firstly, I gotta, I gotta say, yeah, Clem. <laughs> to Clem and Pook right now in the chat. <laughs> Where did his pants go? <laughs> Bro, they took his pants! <laughs> They took Desert Hiko's pants! They took his banana! Guys! Alright, shut, <laughs> shut up, everyone! <laughs> anyway, um, okay. Something's, something's off about this. Something's weird here. And the, the one thing that's like... Making me not believe this is Desuhiko is the blood. Because uh in Desuhiko's sprites, when he when he has a nosebleed, right? When he has a nosebleed, the nosebleed and stuff has always been red. Right? In his sprites, when he has a nosebleed, it's red blood. Yuma... Yuma has... Red blood. Right? <laughs> but what we're seeing in front of us is pink blood. And, you know, they stole his pants. <laughs> so... I think... Or I will, I will believe that this is not really Desuhiko. This is a lie, isn't it? He's not really dead, right? Or am I wrong? Please be mindful of sudden accidents while on the factory tour. If you are electrocuted, fall from a great height, or are mistaken as food and eaten, you will join your friend in front of you. So please practice caution. Hey, yo, I know it's you, Makoto! Get out of here! Get off the loudspeaker! Come, come right here and tell it to my face! I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna punch you! <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna get into the fist fight now. Join my friend. Nuh-uh! No way! Not my man, Anna! Not my man! Friend? Then those bones really are... I don't believe it. I refuse to. He's not dead. I, I'm in denial. Yuma. Kurumi, didn't the announcement also say in front of you? Oh, that means... They're definitely We're watching us. Being watched? Who's there? Where are you? What do you want from us? <laughs> You can't, you can't show me this like very serious scene and then also have a woman on all like four sniffing a meat bun right now. <laughs> like, 
we're like dealing with potentially Desuhiko is dead and you show me this camera view of this woman sniffing a meat bun on all four. She's eating it? Well, it looks like she's sniffing it to me, actually. <laughs> sniff, 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 sniff. Mm, that's, a, that's a damn good meat bun. <laughs> Getting emotional, are we? As a detective, you should know better than that. Get out of here, Makoto. Let me beat your ass. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Why do you know what number one says? I, I don't want to hear that from you! Are you sure you wish to make so much noise? Oh wait, no. After okay. He probably knows that line because he probably bugged the submarine. Also, again, like, okay, so the submarine, right? Like, Yako was saying, like, the phone call that they have to to the World Detective Organization is a secret thing, but, like, Makoto was able to, like, rebuild the submarine after it exploded and still give them a phone call to the WDO. Like, of course it's bugged. Of course it's bugged! That's, that's how he knows what number one is saying, and that's how he found number one's location, and that's how he exploded number one. Did you read the warning I presented to you prior to this? Can we stop looking at the woman sniff the me bun? They only see you as food. If you wish to move on, you should proceed with caution. Now, please enjoy the remainder of the tour. Warning? The letter on the arrow? The person behind that voice has been watching us the whole time. We didn't come to this building by accident. We were led here. Whoever is talking to us brought us here. Makoto. But why? Master, look! Huh? This is Desuhiko's handwriting. Really? What? Are you sure? Yeah. The handwriting matches the note he wrote me when I did some shopping. Hey, this never happened. <laughs> I'm sure he wrote it. Then this corpse really is. <laughs> Don't do this to me, game. Don't do this to me, Kodaka. They're not dead, okay? They're, they're, he's not dead, my man! My man, come on! Kanai Ward's history. No! Oh no, he's reading it out too! Desuhiko, don't tell me you're dead! <laughs> Kanai Ward was just another remote city in the country. Its development began once Amaterasu headquartered there. Ten years ago, Amaterasu Corporation started their research on homunculi. Top secret research kept from society, which Amaterasu loves for sure. And their client is Yuji, who spent a ton of money to keep the research secure. Wait, what? The, the like, global government? Okay, ten years ago... What? Did he start rhyming? Is this a joke? It sounds like something he'd write, but the content itself is serious. Hey, what does it say? It looks like Amaterasu's homunculus research was funded by the unified government. Huh? The UG paid Amaterasu Corp to research homunculi? <sighs> um... Hmm... That explains why they haven't interfered with Kanai Ward's isolation. I'm sure they wouldn't want anyone to know they requested such shady research. So Amaterasu had dirt on the UG, which is why they can't say anything. Well, if the unified government is involved, this is becoming a conspiracy on a global scale. 
When did Tetsuhiko find out about this? Seems like there's more to it. Why don't you read the rest? The only thing known about homunculus research is that human beings are created from human cells. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So... Are we turning, like, original people into homunculus? Or are we using... Because I can see DNA written on this note. I may not be able to read all this Japanese, but I see the English letters DNA. So, like... Or do we only need DNA? So... But, wait, the zombies, right? The zombies are the homunculi, right? So, do we turn the original person into a meat bun? The original people are becoming meat buns. And then the homunculi, who are still not perfected yet, are the zombies. But, wait, the, the meat buns, the meat buns are, are meat, human meat. So the human original dead people meat bun are, but like, aren't the normal people eating it? Or like, are the humunculi zombies? And normal people eating meat buns. Right? So, whether you're homunculi or human, you're all eating a meat person. I DNA think. is extracted from a human that will serve as a base, which is then used to cultivate human cells. Unlike clones, they don't need to be grown from fetuses and genetic data from the time of collection is replicated. Wait, what? Oh, wait, no, I, I guess that makes sense. So, your homunculus looks exactly like you? If they don't need to... They don't need to start from a baby? Because it's not a clone. So you're just like... copy-pasting a person, basically. Is that it? It's an artificial human whose age, sex, and appearance have been perfectly copied. Human cells from DNA... copied... artificial humans? Master, did your brain melt from how complicated this is? Uh, no. Shitty guy, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just like thinking, okay? I'm just trying to think. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make it all a solution key. <laughs> not with the not with the dead Desuhiko bones. Uh Desuhiko's investigation yielded this report about homunculus research. He's not really dead, right? Come on guys. He's not really dead, right? <laughs> they took his Desuhiko pants must have and a shoe. Behind. But I don't believe he's dead. That's right, Yuma. He's not dead. <laughs> we'll live in denial. I'm sure he's with everyone else somewhere. Just like Zilch. <laughs> I'm sure he's out there. Yeah, I agree. I'd rather trust in everyone than believe what that voice says. So let's go find them. Desuhiko okay. is definitely alive. We have to go find everyone right away. Damn. Oh no. It's Hiko. <laughs> Just so he goes alive, I'm sure of it, my man! <laughs> I need to find a way out of here so I can check on Desuhiko. My man, don't worry, I will. Alright, you guys okay? Oh! <laughs> Wait a second, hey! What the heck, guys? Come on! You have meat buns right in front of you and you're gonna like attack me? I just wanted to check on you guys. Okay, never mind. Jeez, so rude. Oh, 
Oh my god, there's another one over there. Hey, can you, uh... Can you do your little funny dance, please? I should take the iPad with me! What am I, stupid? Halara! <laughs> <laughs> together again. Shh. They'll notice if you get too loud. Let's stay quiet. I I know those clothes. What? Anything over here? Oh wow! How convenient! There are just iPads everywhere. Ooh, me boy. They were drawn to the sound. And now that I got a look at them, they're kind of cute. How? <laughs> you were with his like two hands up. Was. Let's check it out before we move on. Halara, what the hell? <laughs> Going on. Those clothes. Oh, Laura? Oh, how tragic. Now shut up, Makoto. <laughs> Despite all my warnings, it seems another one of your friends was devoured. No matter how strong they think they are, they're powerless against overwhelming numbers. No way. Nah, -uh. Halara would definitely kick all their asses. I know Halara. No, that can't be. Please continue enjoying the rest of the tour. <gasps> Master, look at this. There's no mistake. This is Halara's handwriting. Regarding the two research facilities. Don't, don't do this to me. <laughs> Halara is not dead, okay? <laughs> don't give me that like narrated by Halara. This is not Halara, I bet. <laughs> Don't, don't do this, Kodaka. <laughs> the unified government has heavily invested in Amaterasu Corporation's homunculus research. We're getting out lore dump right now. <laughs> but you're not dead! I swear! However, it appears there was another research facility of the same scale, directly controlled by the UG. They had two research facilities compete with one another, in an attempt to further promote development. Naturally, the two facilities became rivals. Competition grew fierce. Soon, they were resorting to any means necessary. Wait, what? You're telling me there are like two labs trying to make homunculi? What the heck does the UG even want them for? <laughs> it's like, uh, Kanai word! Amaterasu, buddy! You wanna make some homunculi with me? Well, actually, we also paid another company to do it too, so... You know, whoever does it faster is gonna get the big bucks. <laughs> okay, wait, so there are like two? There are two factories? Of people, I guess, making homunculi? Amaterasu Corporation began conducting human experiments, but this did not lead to results. Okay. Meanwhile, the unified government's research facility gathered DNA through extra legal methods. Extra legal, huh? They extracted DNA from particularly superior specimens and used those samples as the core for cells. <laughs> What's a superior specimen? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Oh, Laura also managed to dig up all this. A rival facility to Amaterasu Corp. Things are getting even more mysterious now. Nah, -uh, that's not real. <laughs> Halara's investigation yielded this report about the facility conducting the homunculus research. There are two research facilities. Can you really solve this thing? Hey, Yuma, is there something underneath the clothes? Okay, what, what's it's this? A key card. Have you grown tired of the tour yet? Because I sure have. Shut up, Makoto. <laughs> Regardless, you deserve respect. That's right, respect on me. You've lost your home, your friends, and I hear you've even lost your memories. 
What drives you to keep going to such lengths? Justice? Friendship? Or do you just go whichever way the wind blows? I kick your ass! You know who I am? What do you want? I should be asking you the same. Why do you want to solve mysteries? B because I've asked myself that many times, but still can't find the answer. I don't know why I continue to solve mysteries. No, don't lose conviction now. Well, every at the end of every chapter, you go through this <laughs> self-doubting phase. Come on, Yuma. You gotta do it for everyone you care for. But I was able to save people by revealing the truth. <laughs> I was also able to kill people. Exposing the truth doesn't always lead to salvation. You should know that better than anyone. You've learned it full well. <laughs> you killed your dad. Haha. <laughs> like, no! It's true. I know. I suffered each step of the way. Icardi deserved it. <laughs> But then, I thought to myself... I don't want to see anyone suffer because the truth wasn't exposed! Yuma... That's why I decided, no matter what the truth may be, I will expose it! That is my wish for everyone who has fallen victim. What I'm praying for! Prayer is the loneliest activity one can partake in. Even if your friends prayed, none of you would reach another. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Makoto, Makoto is just like, damn, you trying to pray to God? <laughs> That's way the time. I mean, your friends tried, but look at them now. <laughs> Even the priest is in this place. Hey, come on. <laughs> it's like, no! Ah! The power of death god. <laughs> death god and enemy will save me, right? But please. Carry on with your solitary struggle. Don't look down on me, Makoto. I'm coming after you. We're not alone. As long as our thoughts are one, we can fight together. And... Yeah, let's go, buddy. There goes Flatty taking the spotlight again. He already has me, so he has nothing to worry about. I know I'm not alone. I was able to come this far thanks to everyone else. How do you guys feel about uh, uh, Yuma and uh, Kurumi? Do you guys ship it? I feel like I... I don't care. <laughs> I feel like she's like his emotional cheerleader. But uh... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I care about this ship. <laughs> I'm sure the truth that we seek lies ahead. It may be something terrible, but it's the root of everything in Kanai Ward. We'll bring that truth to light. Let's keep moving. We'll bring the truth to light ourselves. You wanna hold hands, Kurumi? <sighs> How could this happen? But We can't stand around. Let's go, Kurumi. I... Halara's not dead. Definitely not. <laughs> Lock. Oh, right, the key card. Actually, there is something that kind of caught my attention. Yes? Why was that announcement so spiteful toward you, Master? It's Makoto. <laughs> he hates me. But I'm not gonna stop. No matter what they say. I'm not gonna stop. Oh, not gonna stop till I get my cool. shot. That's who oh, I am, that is my plan. Who I get on top of the bed on it, bed on it, bed on it, bed on it. Bed on. You can't bed on it, bed on it, bed on it, bed on it. <laughs> Let's go, high school is cool. Let's go. Whee! There's someone in there. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! <laughs> no way! <laughs> Are you? Is that really you? <laughs> is that really you? Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> Hello.
That's gotta be him, right? <laughs> That's gotta be you! <laughs> you were here this whole time waiting for me, right? Right? <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, <laughs> he was really here this whole time. My, my, my baby boy. <laughs> my racking. Oh my God. <laughs> he, he's here. <laughs> they seem a bit different from the others. Oh my God. I hope Silch kills me. <laughs> we can keep doing as long as we remain on scene. Let's leave it alone for now. Take me now, Zilch. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. But they each have individual differences. Perhaps there are even some you could speak with. <gasps> Ain't no way. <laughs> Was that supposed to be some sort of hint? Forget it. It's probably just another trick. Zilch. But what if... Stay out of this, Kurumi! <laughs> My one true love! Wait right here, Kurumi. Alright. That looks like... <laughs> Wait, what the heck? Why are the ears still moving? <laughs> oh my god, Zilch! Zilch, my guy! Why are the ears still twitching? <laughs> I knew it! Zilch! Oh my god, and it's- it's- I know it's a fake Zilch. He's not really Zilch, but he's our Zilch. Who's that? Shut up, Shinigami, as if you don't know. <laughs> you remember the Amaterasu Express on our way to Kanai War? Oh my god. Oh, the first soul I reaped in the Mystery Labyrinth. Zilch, the Master Detective. Zilch. He's actually a hitman disguised as Zilch. So this guy isn't gonna jump ya? Hmm, maybe he's not hungry. I... <gasps> was hired... by... director... Yomi. <laughs> oh my god. It's just been so long. It's been so long since I heard your voice! <laughs> Alright, it's, uh, fake Zilch, it's okay. You wanna speak? <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! Director Yomi! Damn. See, Rat Kings working for Rat Kings. No wonder why. No wonder why they talk about mice and sewer rats. They're... They're Rat Kingdom! Guys! Oh my god! <laughs> he can talk! Oh my god. To kill anyone approaching Kanai Ward. Guys, I'm like... I know I should be taking this seriously right now, but like, I'm just like really happy to see Zilch. Oh. <laughs> Zilch, buddy, you're finally here. Like, oh my god. Like, guys, come on. I, I've been thinking about him the whole game. Wait, where is this thing? Where's the thing that I made? Okay, wait, 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 wait. guys, like I should have made I should have made this the the, the, the the thumbnail for today. <laughs> I should have made this a temporary thumbnail. Then I wouldn't even have to change it. Oh my God, Zilch, you're finally. Oh, look how happy it is. <laughs> He's not dead, guys. He's not dead. Look, look how happy it is. Yay, Zilch. <laughs> Our guy. Wow. Uh, who knew that this joke would actually end up paying off and we would actually see him again? I can't believe it. This is amazing. This is incredible. I feel like, um, <laughs> if only Key of the Past would, like, know. <laughs> oh. Silch, I knew you were always here for me, buddy. What's he mumbling about? Oh my god. 
Hee hee! Selfie! Selfie time! Okay, Kurumi, you need to just stay there, okay? Selfie! <laughs> Selfie with the Zilch! Come on, Zilch, can you like look up right now? <laughs> Hee hee! Peace! Peace! <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait! Eh, eh, eh. I'm with my buddy! <laughs> Zilch! <laughs> Zilch, my best friend! My bestie! Alright, what uh, what do you have to say? Let me get closer to you. <laughs> um, do you remember me? Do you remember me, Zilch? <laughs> do you? Mm -hmm. Oh, Director Yomi. I mean, that's not my name, but uh, call me whatever you want, Zilch. <laughs> No, I'm Yuma. We met on the Amaterasu Express. I was looking for you, Director Yomi. Where, where were you? Guys. <laughs> Zilch X Yomi. This is a new ship. I... <laughs> This is, a, this is a new ship I'm going after now. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> oh my god, Toxic Rat Yaoi Kings! Oh my god, he's thinking about oh, directing Yomi even in death. Director Yomi. Oh, <laughs> say that again. Oh. Oh. Director Yomi. <laughs> Director Yomi. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, Director Yumi, I was oh, I was looking for you, Director Yumi. <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> um, I'm Director Yumi. I'm a zombie now, but like that just means my love for you is undying. Even in death, I'm thinking of you, Director Yumi. This is this is the true ship I was waiting for, guys. The true <laughs> ship. At the lab again. You must love that place. Huh. <laughs> oh my god, he's drooling. We can't communicate. He thinks I'm Yomi. Why don't you take advantage of that and get some info out of him? Yeah, Yomi and Zilch were definitely gay lovers. Oh, all right. <laughs> Right? <laughs> you know, he might have had a right hand, right hand woman. Uh, but he also had a left hand man. <laughs> and that was, that was clearly Zilch. Um, tell me about Yomi. I mean, tell me everything you know about me. Well, we were gay lovers. <laughs> it's like, ah! Oh! Director Yomi, you became director of the Peacekeepers about five years ago, I believe. I, I need to see the beef with Zilch and Martino. <laughs> Things were good back then. That masked freak wasn't in Kanheim Ward yet. It was the ideal environment for my work. So, like, this guy was just an assassin, right? A per- <gasps> A personal assassin! For Yomi! See, this is what I'm saying! Yomi should have hired Fink. He deals with assassins. And because Zilch died, that means he would have had to hire another assassin! Guys! I'm making it work! <laughs> that was when I worked as one of your closest advisors. Oh my god, his it closest advisors. Certainly takes me back. The, it's real, guys! I was one of your closest lovers. Your left hand guy. My personal assassin and also personal ass, <laughs> if you get what I mean. Oh my god. <laughs> Did he even 
even answer anything? He's not making any sense. Let's keep playing along for now. We might get some information. This is becoming a completely different story in my brain. Um, if you don't mind, can you tell me what it was like back then? Uh, back then, you used Dr. Weska to trade with outside military organizations. Okay, outside military organizations? Amaterasu's growing success was all thanks to your endeavors. You were on top of the world. You were also on top of me. <laughs> oh, sheesh! Bottom zilch! <laughs> Here we go, guys. Here we go. <laughs> if anyone dared raise accusations about you, they were shot on sight. I shot him for you. <laughs> Many hypocrites acting as if they were upstanding citizens were shot on sight. My god, <laughs> Yomi kind of sucks. <laughs> and Zilch, well, <laughs> he doing a different kind of suck, <laughs> you know what I mean, guy? <laughs> In fact, most of them died. See, by my he killed hands. them for Yomi! Guys! <laughs> This, this was his real lover. <laughs> to see, because Zilt, this dude died. This dude died before he could even see him interact with Yomi. Yomi's depressed. Yomi's like, I lost my gay lover. And that's why when he has his mystery phantom form, the rainbow was gone. <laughs> because he he lost his he lost his his personal assassin, right hand man, Zilch, gay lover, bottom. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha ha ha. Funny, don't you think? Yeah, very funny, very funny. Didn't Chief Yako's wife get killed for blowing the whistle on the lab's secret dealings? You tell me Zilch killed his wife? So that's what was going on. No, Dr. Huesca killed his wife. Oh, hey, Yomi. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Yomi used Dr. Huesca to start trading with the outside military organization. Five years ago, Yomi's rise. <laughs> uh, about this place. Um, do you know anything about this restricted area? Restricted area? Oh, you mean the location of Dr. Wesker's lab? Wait, what? No, Dr. Wesker's lab is located underneath Amaterasu Corp. Yes. Dr. Weska's lab. The new lab was made within the restricted area. Ooh. Wait, there's another lab? Huh? I heard that Dr. Weska tried to rush the homunculus research in order to beat the rival lab. So they built a lab about three years ago and started an experiment. Wait, 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 what? Okay, this is like completely different. Okay, so you know, um, there was the real Zilch, and then this fake Zilch killed the real Zilch, and then we killed the fake Zilch, and then fake Zilch dead body was transported here, and they used its DNA to create homunculus, which is this guy. So, right? So this is not, this is not even the real train zilch. Is this a, like the clone, <laughs> the homunculus? 
copy of fake silch? Is this is this a different guy? <laughs> Did I eat zilch meat bun? <laughs> I mean, Yomi, Yomi ate zilch meat buns, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, yo, I, did I eat his meat buns? Sheesh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's get back to what they're talking about right now. Um, heard that Dr. Wesco tried to rush the homunculus research in order to beat the Raven Lab. So they built a lab about three years ago and started an experiment. Okay, yes. <laughs> I think it was called Project Homunculus. Project Homunculus. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Was the experiment a success? Or did it fail? I guess it doesn't matter. Master, you hear that? Project Homunculus sounds important! So Dr. Weska's lab was around here somewhere three years ago. Could this be about the secret research? Well, if he doesn't know if it succeeded or failed, then there's not much more we can ask him. No, don't leave him. Uh, oh, damn. Kanai Ward changed. Thanks to that masked freak. It's all... His fault. Hmm. He started talking again. That bastard appeared. Uh, when was it? Yeah. Immediately after Project Homunculus, there was that event. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? <laughs> His moans. <laughs> hey, I didn't even comment on that, but I, I was like, all right. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Zombie ASMR. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo. <laughs> Can we get Zilch's banana? <laughs> uh... Called the Black Week Mystery. Okay, this is actually important. I need to concentrate. All right, wait, 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 wait. wait. So, Makoto, Makoto came to. Makoto came to Kanai Ward immediately after Project Homunculus. And then there was a blank week mystery. Hmm. Hmm. The blank week mystery? The blank week mystery. The blank week mystery. Unfortunately, all I know is its name, and that it's taboo to mention it in Kanai Ward. Oh uh, yeah, Kurumi, tell me, you tell me what's up with that it. Case? What happened? Damn, Kanai Ward changed thanks to that masked freak. It's all his fault. That bastard appeared. Uh, when was it? Oh no, he's talking in loops now. No, Zilch! Zilch! Speak to me! <laughs> Tell me about our relationship! Our private relationship! 
between you and Yomi, who is definitely me right now. He's going in circles! Oh, so irritating! Oh, yeah. Around the time of the Blank Week mystery. Right after that, the masked freak appeared out of nowhere. And he became CEO of Amaterasu in the blink of an eye. It's so irritating. <laughs> right, Director Yomi? Man, I bet he he was like he's like, I'm on a, I'm not in the mood for sex right now, Silch, okay? <laughs> I'm very depressed! <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> Uh, okay, wait. <laughs> um. Okay, around the time of the Blake Wave mystery, Makoto appeared and became CEO, and Yomi did not become CEO anymore. Hmm. That freak ordered the homunculus research to be shut down. Who does he think he is? Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. If humon hum homunculus, right? If homunculus, when they are made, they look exactly like the person's DNA that was taken from them, like the person, like in age stage of life and everything could could makoto be someone's homunculus from kanai ward and 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 okay and <laughs> hold up hold up guys and was was it me? Did I originally live in Kanai Ward and then I left Kanai Ward after... Well, hmm. But Yuma's still alive. Did they just take Yuma's DNA? Because, like, uh, this, is, this is if we're twins, right? <laughs> if we're kind of like twins. Is... Is he my homunculus, or am I his homunculus? And, um... I left Kanai Ward. And then... I forgot everything, and now I'm back in Kanai Ward. I don't know. I don't know, I need to think. <laughs> I need to think. I don't... Uh, how, how did... Hmm... I'm trying to understand how Makoto could've... Could have become CEO so quickly. He did something. He's he did something. What? Makoto shut it down. Tell me more, Zilch. But yeah, Makoto did tell them to stop the research. Wait. So if he told people to stop the research for homunculi. And obviously, like, I guess it was still going on? Secretly, maybe? Because I'm trying to think, like, how are the dead people right now homunculi if they're not making any more right now? Like, after Makoto came in. Okay, whatever. I I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. We got, we, I gotta process all this information. <laughs> uh -huh. Tell me more, Zilch. Uh, Director Yomi. Anyway, talk about moaning and everything. Ah, Director Yomi. Ah. <laughs> I was looking for you, Director Yomi. Where were you? At the lab again. Oh. You must love that place. Can I can I put fake Zilch on a leash and like take him with me? <laughs> I mean he's not attacking me, so like come on. 
Come on, buddy, you wanna come with me? <laughs> It'll be just like old times. He's stuck on repeat. Guess he's glitching out. Silch! Silch! Director Yomi, you became director of the Peacekeepers about five years ago, I believe. I wonder if we'll ever know what this guy's real name is. Things were good back then. It's no use. He's like a broken record. He's broken, but he's still okay. You want to take him with you? <laughs> well, based on what he said, Dr. Weska's lab was apparently somewhere near here three years ago. And something called Project Homunculus was carried out there. And then after that, the so-called Blank Week Mystery occurred. But the real question is what the Blank Week Mystery even is. Whoa, wait, wait. So, like, they... They were asked like 10 years ago to start making homunculus and then like it wasn't happening for like seven years. And then three years ago they started doing more drastic stuff, I guess. And then Makoto popped up. I guess. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let me <laughs> I'll I'll have to think. I haven't asked Rumi about it yet. It's supposedly taboo in Kanai Ward, but she may know. The Flatty will probably tell you. Try asking. There are zombies zilch into Yomi's jail cell. I want to see what happens. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, imagine if he said, Ah, oh, yes, I remember when you put me on a leash just like this. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, there's a fandom name for him in the Japanese fandom. His fandom name in Japan is Aide Tanaka. Oh my god, just like Gundam. Gundam Tanaka. I wonder what that means. Uh, like, I Aide Tanaka. Hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> this has been a fun fun moment. I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. Like, Zilch is here, I'm living my best life. Desuhiko and Halara might be dead, but this ain't about them right now, you know? Hey, Makoto! <laughs> Makoto arrived in Kanai Wood shortly after the Blink- Wait, after the Blink Week mystery? I thought he arrived before the Blink Week mystery. Okay. Was I wrong about that? Around the time of the Blank Wing Mystery, right after that, the Moss Freak appeared out of nowhere. Oh, okay. Afterwards. Why did I think he came before that? Okay, whatever. So, afterwards. Um, after the Blank Wing Mystery, and ordered the cancellation of homunculus research. The mysterious Blank Week Mystery is a taboo subject in Kanai Ward. No, don't leave him alone, you want. Oh wait, where's Kurumi? Whatever. Zilch! Director Yomi. <laughs> He's thinking about him. Uh Director Yomi. Director Yomi. Director Yomi. Director Yomi. 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 Yo 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 yo. <laughs> My <laughs> he's like, I don't I don't need my banana, I need my yo-yo. <laughs> Why didn't they voice this line, huh? <laughs> Aww. He's like a broken record. Doesn't look like you can get any more information out of him. No! Director Yomi. Ah, uh, Director Yomi, Director Yomi, Director Yomi, Director Yomi, 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 Yo, 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 no, no, this is so sad. This is, is this it? Am I never gonna see you again? Zilch, no, my, my, my bestie. 
Oh man, this is uh, this is the greatest moment of my life right now. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you, game, for bringing Zilch back to me, just like I wanted. I mean, he's not exactly the way I wanted, but you know what? Now we have a new ship. A new ship has been born. <laughs> yo, 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 yo me, yo me, yo me. Director yo me. He's thinking about him all the time. Aww. All right. Well, where's Karumi? I'll never forget you. I'll never forget you. I love you. <laughs> where's Karumi? Huh? Karumi? Karumi's gone. Where'd she go? Man. Ah. <sighs> my my dear my dear my dear Zilch. My dear Zilch! <laughs> oh, anyway, where did she go? She's hey, like... Down, will ya? They'll come for you again! <laughs> she's like, I don't need to learn about oh, Zilch and Director Yomi's uh, passionate love. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna, like, step out for a little bit, okay? <laughs> don't tell me they got her. They had, she'd at least scream, but I didn't hear anything. <laughs> she got tired of all the yaoi and left. <laughs> she probably wandered off somewhere. I wish she'd stop dragging us down. I don't think she turned back without good reason. Maybe she really did go on ahead. I'd better hurry and catch up. Are you gonna be okay here? I wish I could take you with me. <laughs> uh, goodbye! Where the heck did Karumi go? We have to find her! He'll be so sad there, all by himself. See about Yomi. This is so upsetting. Hey! Is that... Who's that supposed to be? Aww, we're too late. I bet flat meat doesn't taste very good. I have to do something! Alright, where's the iPad? <laughs> where's the iPad on the floor? <laughs> He's so sad over there! <laughs> Get another screenshot. <laughs> iPad on the floor, iPad on the floor. Is there an iPad on the floor? Yes? No? No? Huh. Okay, I'm not really sure what I meant to do then. Well, if I get here, they're gonna eat me, right? <laughs> Okay, well... Is there an iPad on the floor? Zilch, tell me what I'm supposed to do! Oh, there it is! Thank you, Zilch! I knew you would lead me in the right direction! Ah. <laughs> oh. I love you. <laughs> Thanks, bestie. These clothes belong to <laughs> Zilch's meat buns when the no same today. Of the day. Uh, all right, whose clothes are these? I think this is Vivia's clothes. Did the anemic vampire get whacked too? Well, he was half dead to begin with. How awful. Another one of your friends has been devoured. He's not dead. <laughs> I know it! is not dead! <laughs> d d stop saying that! I'm in denial. Maybe they'll be zombies. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no. If they have no body, they can't be zombies. Master, never mind that. Look! It's a report. This is definitely Vivia's handwriting. 
Everyone has convenient notes of lore. Regarding homunculus characteristics, homunculi do not die. Rather, even if they die, they come back to life. Wait. Wait, what? The unified government sought out and began research for military applications of homunculi. Oh, god damn, it was full war, wasn't it? <laughs> Their desire was to create an immortal army. Stupid, stupid ass war. Why do we, why does the world have to have war? I don't know. Personally, like, I don't really know what goes into, like, you know, politics and war around the world. I just, like, from a person, like, a perspective of a person who's just trying to, like, live. I don't, I don't know. I really don't. It's, it's hard, because I'm like, I kind of hate that the world spends so much money on military and stuff like that. And, like, it, it's like, it goes beyond... I feel like the understanding of an average person, but I just, I just think it's terrible. It's, it's such a waste of resources, money, people's lives, and like brings just like tragedy to everyone. I don't know. My god. What was that, you immortal people? You want war to last forever? Homunculi look identical to humans. And aren't they the like, unified the government? Who are you fighting against? Everyday life. <laughs> Who are you fighting against? Aren't you guys unified? What the hell? Anyway, Humunculi look identical to humans. You cannot tell them apart. Okay. They can become injured and ill. Some are handicapped, some are blind. But once they die, everything is repaired upon revival. Oh? Death acts as the switch for rebuilding their cells. It only takes one day. One day? They are immortal and even have eternal youth. Their cells may grow, but they never deteriorate. They stop aging once their bodies stop growing. Those who have already stopped growing maintain that state. There are many unknowns regarding homunculus memory, but they seem to inherit those of their originals. The memories at the time of DNA extraction are carried over and completely reconstructed in the brain's memory field. <laughs> Alright guys, I don't know like how realistic this is. Even if you recreate like a human, I don't think you could recreate their memories. I don't think it like comes in like a USB or something. You can just plug it in they just like have the exact same memories. Okay, um... Hmm... So what? A homunculi? Because they have memories of the original human? Like, do they even know that they're not the original human? It keeps the original's memories? Because this this is going into some, like, uh, Uchikoshi territory now, I feel. <laughs> None of them seem to have their memories, though. Well, Zulch did remember the past. Maybe that's the individual differences that was mentioned. Yeah, Zilch is superior. <laughs> anyway, there's more to the report. What does it say? There's only one way to tell a homunculus and a human apart. Blood. Homunculi have special characteristics to their blood. Oh. I think I know. I. Uh. Oh. Oh. Wait. I think I. I think I'm understanding it now. Everyone, everyone, oh, unless it's the other way around, unless Yuma, okay, if Yuma is a homunculus, then hum humunculus, no, wait, that's stupid, 
Um, Yuma, Yuma's blood is red. <laughs> and Desuhiko, nose blood, <laughs> was red. Everyone who's died in Kanai Ward has pink blood. Are... Are we saying... Are you saying that everyone is already a homunculus? <laughs> Wait... <laughs> Wait a second... Wait, everyone is? Wait a second, but... Okay, wait, 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 the dead bodies that are right in front of us of, uh, Vivia, Desihiko, and Halara, they got pink blood. That means it's a homunculus, right? But then why are the other zombie people eating them? Do homunculus also eat homunculus, or do they only eat human people? Because if... if they only eat human people, then why are they eating the... the fake body? I'm, I'm a little confused. <laughs> uh... Right? Cause like, he's like, okay, blood, right? If people who are homunculi have, uh, special blood. And that's- is that what we're trying to say? The pink blood is actually not because of Dagarampa, haha, <laughs> logic. It's because they're homunculi and you- Is this- is this what it is? Da like, Kodaka was like, haha. <laughs> So, all my Dagarampa fans are gonna be like, Pink blood, that's normal. <laughs> is that what it is? But no, Yuma had like, red blood. Oh my god, I think that's... That... Okay, I gotta say, that's... If that is what it is... That's pretty... That's pretty cool. I think that's pretty smart. <laughs> I think that's pretty interesting for Kadaka to do. He's like, yeah, the blood's just pink. Because it's always been pink. Oh my god. Okay, keep the going. blood's characteristics... That's the only way to tell them apart. Vivi's investigation yielded this report about homunculus characteristics. And they've got pink blood right now at their, like pretend dead bodies, right? So, they're not really dead. And this is all being set up probably by Makoto, because of course it's Makoto. Huh? Oh! Oh! Who, who's up there? Hey, wait! <laughs> hey, yo, that walk though, that walk. Do, 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 do. Sway my hips side to side. <laughs> wait, 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 again. That doesn't make sense. Do, you, do you, homunculus eat other homunculus or do they only eat people? <laughs> Vivia can't die. I won't believe it. Come on. If, if he faked his own death, I'll never forgive him. Because, like, yeah, right? Like, if, if, if we're saying that they only eat human. Then, like, why were they eating this? Unless there was just a meat bun that we didn't see here. <laughs> it's all a setup. It's all a setup, right? I'm not gonna die another time. You're so, wait. It. it might be a trap. Is I everyone. Don't know why, but I think it's calling to me. Is everyone a human by that thing? Oh my god, it won't let me go see Zilch. <laughs> <laughs> they won't let me see Zilch. One last time. Hurry. I can't go back now. I need to follow that dark figure. Oh. I think it's trapped, but I'll follow you no matter what you decide. God damn it. Zilch. Alright, Zilch, I love you. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've done, Zilch. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs> I, I need to go. I need to know these answers. I need to find my way. Learn my yesterday. It's gone. <laughs> Where did it go? I need to take these chances. 
let all my feelings show. Can't tell what's waiting. Still, I need to go. I need to know. <laughs> Goodbye, Zilch. I love you. Bye, bestie. <laughs> luggage pile. This is... Cargo delivered to the factory is piled up. But... Everything's covered in dust, so it must have been placed here some time ago. Oh! Oh! <laughs> here we go again! Looks like the trash cans are all empty. Come on! Whoever was in charge here must suck at cleaning up, leaving all these boxes around. Okay, well, I don't see any gaps here. That figure... is that... Who is it? A friend of yours, Master? Maybe. So, we gotta track him down, huh? I'm mourning. <laughs> Second mourning for Zilch. Not here. Where did you go? Maybe this way? Wait a second! Okay, Zilch, Zilch that we just saw also had pink blood. Is everyone who had pink blood a uh, homunculus? Is... What? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I'll keep going for now. I need to think. Any green herbs around? Electric light. Hmm. If the lights are on, the rest of the place must have working electricity, too. Huh? It doesn't seem like anyone lives here, so why is the power still on? Ooh. What is this? Okay, I'm not allowed to go there. <laughs> Someone destroyed that giant shutter! It looked pretty sturdy! It would take a huge amount of force to make it look like this. Wait a second! Yako! Yako had pink blood! Was Yako a homunculus? Dad homunculus? Wait, 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 What is going on here? Mm. Whoa! Stairs? Looks like they lead underground. You're still going, Master? Yeah, I have a feeling I need to talk to that person. Oh, damn it! You know what I should have done? I should have put a save point where Zilch was. Then I could go to him every day. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but I feel like I should save. I haven't saved in a while. Who's gonna appear? Who's gonna appear on the... the thingy this time? Oh, it's me! It's my face! Oh, there's an update for a profile. Is it Zilch? Wait, what? Oh, it is! <laughs> um, what updated? What changed? <laughs> uh, 
I don't see anything that changed here. His picture? Which one? <laughs> oh, his mystery phantom photo showed up. Wait, like now? Why did it take that long? Also, you're right. <laughs> he was Yomi's personal lover. That should be added to the. That should be added to his um <laughs> his bio. <laughs> All right. Well. I wonder oh. what's up ahead, Master. You could be falling for a trap, you know. That's possible, but I have to go. There's no other evidence around. Good point. Whether a zombie or death god pops out, comes down to your luck, master. Hmm. Is this the... Is this the secret lab? From three years ago, then? Definitely looks like it could be. This corridor goes on forever! How much longer till we reach the end? And... I wonder what lies ahead. Cool. Okay, they better not have something chase me. <laughs> oh! What are you doing here? D Dr. Weska? What are you doing here? And that's what I said. Hey. It's you. Whoa. Uh, I did not like that. <laughs> you, you, you. Hey, it's you. 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 He can talk, but he's also bugging out. Dr. Weska, please, tell me about the homunculi. You were researching homunculi, weren't you? H homunculi? H how do you know about the biggest stain on my life? Can you imagine if, like, we were like, oh my god, Dr. Huesca, what does he have to say? And he's also like, I was also Yomi's gay lover. And we're like, oh my god. Anyway, uh, no, we're not gonna ship that. <laughs> Biggest stain on my life. Oh, he spoke normally. He's probably reacting to the word homunculi. <laughs> Yomi's right he foot. He <laughs> doesn't seem to have completely lost his memories. <laughs> Doctor, what happened to the homunculus research? Alright, what happened? Such a terrible memory. I'm ashamed to say my homunculus research with Amaterasu Corporation fell behind. Rumor had it the UG's research facility was on the doorstep a successful experiment. My lord. So in order to catch up, the homunculus test site up ahead was constructed. There's a homunculus test site up ahead? Is that the real secret lab? I was getting impatient. I used every method imaginable to complete the research first. Hmm. Do you? Dare criticize my methods? Hmm. Aww. Well, yes. But no! I thought so. Sacrifices are necessary during experimentation. Yeah, including the the that one guy's wife <laughs> who was gonna snitch on me. I needed our experiment to complete a homunculus first to silence that pesky unified government. 
To conduct the experiment in utmost secrecy, I purchased the entire surrounding village hmm. and made it a restricted area. Okay, so there was no, like, gas leak or whatever. But wait a second! Why would you have to purchase it if you were gonna just pretend it was a gas leak, right? Oh, by the way, I'm gonna, like, buy all of your houses and- Oh, there's a gas leak, so you better get out of here. He should have just said, like, Ah, oh, there's a gas leak, alright? Everyone get out. <laughs> Didn't have to pay for anything. And so... Three years ago, the fateful Project Homunculus began. So, okay, they started make or started researching like 10 years ago. Was it not called Project Homunculus like 10 years ago? What happened in that experiment? Well, of course. <sighs> hmm? You, what happened to my experiment? It's been a week since it began. What? Tell me now, what happened during the blank week? What? T tell me. T t tell. 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 Titty. Ugh, he keeps breaking down <laughs> at the worst time. Maybe he just needs a good smack. The blank week was mentioned again. Maybe it has something to do with the experiments that took place here. Okay, uh, the homunculus test site was located inside the restricted area, yeah? The confidential project homunculus took place three years ago. Whatever it is, we should keep moving. The homunculus testing site is up ahead. Right. Let's see it for ourselves. Hmm. Let's summarize all we've learned about the homunculi. Sure, I'm all ears. You know, I, I think I'm kind of surprised that we have not seen, like, the, I guess, fake Fubuki dead body yet. I thought she would be, like, one of the f first ones, but Vivia was there instead. I'm like, oh, where's Fubuki then? <laughs> Ten years ago, the Unified Government requested that Amaterasu Corporation conduct homunculus research. This is very important. Three years ago, to compete with the UG's research facility, they built the homunculus testing site. That's where Project Homunculus took place, but we don't know exactly what that entails. And right after the experiments, the Blank Week mystery occurred. And then Makoto appeared. The masked guy. Makoto Kagatsuchi appeared at Kanai Ward right after that, too. He somehow got ahead of Peacekeeper Director Yomi and became CEO of Amaterasu. He halted the homunculus research, and as a result, the homunculi became an urban legend in Kanai Ward. Hmm. And now, three years later? You and I descended on this ruined, depressed land of Kanai Ward. Whoa. Who the heck is tearing up these metal Look, gates? Another really tough looking shutter has been completely beaten up! W what happened here? Is this the homunculus testing site? Oh my god, this <laughs> this looks just like the uh, Neo World Pro uh, Program pods. <laughs> Kamida, are you here? Oh my god, they're little egg pods. Yuma. <gasps> Dad! <gasps> 
Shinigami, did you hear that voice just now? Huh? Not really. Must have been the wind. No, I heard someone call my name. Dad, is that you? <laughs> Where is he? Oh my god, I wish I could uh, look around, but I can't change the angle. There's a sweet gamer chair inside. <laughs> oh, sheesh. The sun is shining through the ceiling. And since it's not raining here... Oh, wait, that... That's the... That's the sky. It's not raining. Could we be outside of Kanai Ward? I can smell the ocean. Maybe this was built over the sea. Whoa! Let's go! Look at this background. Holy moly. Okay, I'm not allowed to go there, but... <laughs> How many pods... How many pods did we need? You, Mom? Dad? There it is! I heard that voice again! It's coming from over there! You sure? Don't tell me you're bugging out too! Now you're hearing things. Poor master. I'm not going crazy. I really did hear a voice. This looks like a very uh, interesting carnival ride. <laughs> Where, where's Fubuki? Is she gonna be the last one we find? What is going on here? Whoa, who the heck is that guy? Uh, some control device. This is... Seems like this console controls the machines on the other side of the window. Hmm? Which ones? Which ones? None of the machines are doing anything! Well, it's an abandoned lab. Who the heck is this guy? Creepy machine. That's... You can see a giant ominous machine through the window. Is it used for homunculi research somehow? Uh, what? <laughs> it's giving me the heebie-jeebies! Let's stay away! <laughs> Who are you? Why does this look like, um, Hulk Moss from Miraculous? Okay. Who are you? It definitely does not look like him anymore. <laughs> hey, this guy can actually talk! Who is he? I've never met him before. Is this the guy calling you, Master? No, I don't think so. Um, my name is Yuma. Who are you? What? You don't know who I am? No. <laughs> you must live in the boonies. Is this guy alive or dead? <laughs> I'm the CEO of Amaterasu Corporation. Although, I conceded that post to someone else a little while ago. Okay, he's clearly dead. There's like blood in his eyes. Uh, he's the CEO? Oh, I guess he was the previous CEO until Makoto. Conceded? You mean to Makoto Kagutsuchi? Oh, you're a Makoto's acquaintance. You'll have to excuse me then. A friend of his is a friend of mine. How about a glass of wine to... This guy seems like totally fine being a zombie. His brain seems okay. Sorry, I'll pass. Besides, there's something I want to ask you. Very well. What is it? Ask me anything. This guy can actually communicate. Hans seems a lot more alert than the others. Master, now's your chance to get some answers! Um, I would like to ask you about the Blank Week Mystery. The Blank Week Mystery... Unfortunately, I don't know what happened. What? But... Piecing together the bits and pieces I know, 
I do have an idea. Back then, a plot about the unified government planning to occupy Kanai Ward had been uncovered. Oh? The Yuchi wanted Kanai Ward? From what I understand, the Blank Week mystery is a conspiracy the UG set up to take over the city. Why would the unified government want Kanai Ward? I have no idea. I suppose it's to steal the rights to Amaterasu Corporation. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward was wiped from the map for some time, just as the UG wanted. But we were saved by my friend, Makoto Kagutsuchi. He's your friend? <laughs> it's a fact that the Unified Government once planned to occupy Kanai Ward. Okay. How did Makoto overcome the threat of Kanai Ward disappearing? So that <laughs> very professional looking logo for a government. <laughs> He appeared from nowhere and volunteered to negotiate with the UG. Rumor is, he has a special connection within their ranks. Huh. So, I mean, yeah, maybe he comes from the UG and wanted to, like, get rid of all the top people in Kanai Ward. So that they could, like, cover up the fact that the UG was trying to create homunculi. I guess? <laughs> uh... I didn't expect much from him, of course. But it wasn't as if we had any other choice. And before we knew it, the negotiations were complete. Because now that Makoto is in control of Kanai Ward, it just feels like the UG have won, right? How? Upon arriving at the negotiation table, he immediately announced that Kanai Ward would be isolated. Unexpectedly, the UG agreed. Both sides accepted a non-intervention condition and concluded negotiations. I suspect some sort of secret arrangement was made regarding homunculus information. <laughs> I'm like, did... <laughs> Makoto is like, looks like a, looks like a little boy, a child or something. He's, he's a short king, right? And he's like, just like, hello, you guys don't know me, but uh, I, I have a, I have a, I have a method to save the uh, Kanai Ward. <laughs> Leave it to me, don't worry. Uh, sources, trust me. <laughs> Makoto didn't tell you about the details of the arrangement? Well, that was part of the agreement. Speaking of, there was one other condition. He said if negotiations were successful, I would have to concede my position as CEO to him. Doesn't that just make you think it's like, oh, well, clearly this is a agent from the UG. They want me to, like, let go of my position and then just take over Kanai Ward from the inside. It's hard to believe you gave up your seat as CEO to a complete stranger. Aw, oh, he paid me very well. <laughs> I agree. It's a ridiculous story. But without him, the UG would have occupied Kanai Ward and Amaterasu would have been consumed. I wanted to protect this company. And he wanted to protect Kanai Ward. Even though he was a complete outsider and we do not know uh, where he was born or like... <laughs> I mean, who the heck is this guy? <laughs> but uh, yeah, we uh, just let him handle it and uh, then he couldn't take control of Kanai Ward. And you know what? That's fine with me. <laughs> it's like... Our interests align and I was already quite up there in age. Is your name Amaterasu? Like... Makoto loves Kanai Ward and its residents. I knew I could entrust this land to him. 
He loves Kanai Ward because I don't know why. <laughs> but why the trade-off? Why did he want to be CEO of Amaterasu Corporation? He can protect Kanai Ward without it, right? But Kanai Ward is now entirely Amaterasu Corporation itself. And I know that he said he wanted to stop homunculus research immediately. This guy has the most clear head despite being like a zombie. Like, <laughs> he's like, I don't have any gay lovers, you see. <laughs> My mind is clear. <laughs> okay, no, but like, um, <laughs> like. Alright, thank you for plot reasons. You got plot armor and have a clear brain. <laughs> In retrospect, there's no denying that the research was extremely inhumane. So Makoto became CEO of Amaterasu just to stop the homunculus research? Mm. Ultimately, I can say the decision to concede my position to him was the right one. He can take the, all the blame for what we did, ha ha ha. I'm going to retire now. <laughs> Under his leadership, Amaterasu expanded its businesses. Their total assets now rival that of the UG. What? That's insane for like a isolated little company. Long live Amaterasu, right? <laughs> <laughs> Makoto Kakutsuji was the one who saved Kanai Wood from Unified Government's plot. The former CEO of Amaterasu Corporation was in the restricted area. <laughs> Why is this a solution key? I don't know. <laughs> Come to think of it, wasn't the former CEO of Amaterasu Corp... The previous CEO died in an accident. But my guess is that actually... You think Yomi is responsible? That's just a guess, mind you. Yomi must have killed him for giving away the CEO position to Makoto. With that in mind, I don't know if he actually made the right decision. Well, if Yomi was the CEO, the city would be in much worse shape. Yuma. Dad! Yuma. Dad, get me away from this CEO dude who's just lore dumping from me. I heard it clearly this time. All right, I don't, I don't need to ever talk to you ever again, right? <laughs> if you see Makoto, tell him I'll bring the wine next time. Let's party, baby! <laughs> anyway, I'll just stand here for the rest of my life. <laughs> There's a message on the control unit that says none of the machines are in operation. All right, Dad, where are you? Is this a door? Nope. Damn, how many people... How many, like, pods are there? Do we have to make a pod for every single person in Kanai Ward? Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Give me a sec, guys.
Okay, I'm back. Guys, maybe I was the zombie. Maybe Yuma was the zombie for just walking around in the circle all the time. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I, I, I got a phone call from my mom. Uh, creepy machine. This is... Looking closer, there are a bunch of capsule-type things on this machine. Hmm. Gross. They kind of look like insect eggs. I don't want to be around here. Hmm. Kanai Ward's remaining unsolved mysteries. A brave master ventures deeper into the lab in search of the unknown. A never-before-seen device. Suspicious equipment. A master prowling into a treacherous lab. And then... Hmm. What? What happened? There's nothing <laughs> there. You'll have to read the Master Goes Exploring series. Jeez, I thought something suddenly popped out. Anyway, don't go making up a series about me. Ugh, were you born joyless, Master? Are there no, like, zombies who want to eat me over here? <laughs> the one who's been calling for me. Dad? Chief. Huh? Fuzzhead, really? This guy? Oh, hey, Yuma. It's me, your dad. I'm happy to see you, even if it's like this. Do you remember me? Yuma. Yes, I'm Yuma. Chief, you understand me? Oh, a CD. This is my mixtape. This is for me? Uh, why are you- Wait! Uh... Please hear me out! Just for a little while! Master, wait. Why? Nothing good will come from chasing after the dead. Just let him go. Let him go? What? Don't you think you should be looking at what Fuzz had left for you instead? I think that's what he wants. Dad? <sighs> you never gave me my meat bun. No, come back here, Yako! Chief Yako, thank you for everything! Where's he gonna go? Oh man. Thank goodness. The computer still works. Oh, that's why this was here. Oh man. <laughs> Chief Young, they didn't even give it like they didn't even get to see his face. They put him all in shadow and we never see him again. He just walks off into the distance. Ah. Uh, where's Fubuki? <laughs> now I can check the disc the chief gave me. Is the camera on? Why is it you? Well, I hope it's recording. Let's begin. Sup, guys, it's me, Dr. Huesco. Leaving Welcome this to video my vlog. is the greatest stain on my career as a researcher. But given the tragedy about to occur, this record will be of great assistance. It is currently 2 a.m. Fourteen hours have passed since Project Homunculus began. I'll hours. get straight to the point. Project Homunculus is a failure. Something unexpected occurred in our efforts to find suitable DNA. Oh? Although we successfully created homunculi, the results have been dubbed defective. Wait, it worked? Defective homunculi have a fatal flaw to them. In the revival process, their intelligence is lost. 
They are reduced to nothing but senseless, flesh-seeking monsters. There is also another flaw. In a previous experiment, a defective homunculus was exposed. Trying to adjust for it worked against us. Made them even more violent. And... We are in hell itself. They're nothing more than monsters. It's here. Listen. Defective homunculi will devour humans down to their bones. They will drink every last drop of your blood. At this rate. Ah! What the? Wait. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. So that was Dr. Huesca. Project Homunculi started. 14 hours later, they're like, Oh God, we messed up real bad. The Homunculi kill us. <laughs> and he... he's dead? Like, he just died there, right? Which means... The Dr. Huesca that we were talking to before... Was the homunculi version of himself? And then... They... Like, the homunculi... What, just didn't know it was a homunculi? So what, after all the homunculi like killed people, they like ate some people and they were like, actually, I have my sanity back right now. What? Okay, I need to, I need to think about this. Dr. Huesca, right? Looks like a zombie got to him. But Project Homunculus supposedly happened three years ago. If the doctor died in a failed experiment three years ago, then who was the Dr. Weska I met in Amaterasu's lab? I mean, he is right there. Why not ask him? Oh, right. A video recorded by the doctor. He talks about his homunculus research. Although the creation of homunculi was successful, the results were defective. Homunculi who have lost all reason seem to be attracted to sound. Dr. Weska, please tell me, do you remember what happened in the experiment three years ago? Hey, it's you. Hey. Y you you hey 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 damn it it's no use the video could have been fake maybe if it was just some random disc but chief yaka went out of his way to give it to me this is dad's last wish it has to be an important clue. But the last part was nothing but static, so there's no telling what he was saying. The homunculi have some sort of flaw. If they have a weakness, we need to know it. Did you get to meet your benefactor? Makoto, you know all of this, right? Perhaps you finally obtained the truth. <sighs> Speaking of which, don't you think you should return to the factory? Kurumi is in danger. Yeah, because of you, asshole! What? <laughs> hey, Master! You really never give up, do you? Run, Yuma, run! Despite all the murders you've seen, despite getting knocked out over and over again, you were framed as a criminal. 
and even murdered real criminals in the name of truth. <laughs> How did you know about that? <laughs> hey yo, how did you know I killed people, Makoto? <laughs> That's a my little secret. <laughs> I'm surprised you still call yourself a detective. Oh, to be clear, that's a compliment. A normal person would have fled. Anyone with even the slightest bit of a conscience wouldn't be able to take it. And yet, here you are. Hmm. It'd be one thing if you were using your abilities, but you're actually using a Death God's powers, aren't you? How do you know? Why do you know all this about me? Huh? This guy knows about me? How? Wait, does this break out contract, <laughs> Shinigami? Does this, like, force you away from me? Perhaps you're trying to corner me with all these acrobatics. But in truth, this is the worst possible move you can make. You can never outsmart me. Yeah, I'll show you! <laughs> Let's go. Hmm. Well, if if they show, like, Kurumi's clothes on the floor, uh, she might be a she might be a homunculus, right? <laughs> the pink blood would be normal for her, right? She's not here! Kurumi! Where are you? Wait a second, where's Zil? She wasn't standing there anymore! Knowing that Flatty's personality, she wouldn't go back the way she came. Try looking for her up ahead! Right. Let's look that way first. Right here, Master! No, 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 no. Where's Zilch? Where did he go? Zilch? Zilch? Say. No! Where did he go? Maybe the flatty continued instead of going back? No! Not this way. <laughs> then maybe this isn't the right way to go. <laughs> Zilch, where did he go? He got hungry? Oh no! Imagine if we see Zilch eating Kurumi. <laughs> I'll be like, I'll allow it. <laughs> Before you know it, the truth is right in front of you. Have you been enjoying my party? So, it is you after all. Makoto Kagutsuchi! It's you, isn't it? <laughs> of course it is, Yuma. The white smoke that knocked us out of the detective agency was from that gift you gave me! What's your goal here? What are you trying to make me do? Please continue enjoying the rest of the tour. Damn it! How many times did I warn you to stay away from him? You should have listened! It's all too late now. Besides, I'm sure from the moment I got on the Amaterasu Express, I was fated to meet Makoto. It's too obvious of a setup to call it fate. This is way more like the perfect crime or something. Hmm. It's all. It was all according to Makoto's plan. Me killing Zilch. He wanted Yomi to lose his lover. Oh no! It was. It was like, guys, come on. That, that's what it was, right? That's what it actually was. I know it. Makoto, how could you? And now he took him away from me. Where is Zilch? Master, look! Oh my god, who, who- wait, who the heck is this? <laughs> is this Fink? What in the world? What are you- what are you doing here? Uh, 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 
Is that... the hitman who killed the chief? What? What? He, he's dead? <laughs> Was it you? Is it really you? Are you Fink the Slaughter Artist? Hold on, Master! He's not in any condition to talk! I... did... my job. Oh my god, he has a voice. Wait, 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 oh, 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 wait, wait, did you, uh, did you kill Dr. Huesca, <laughs> or did you only kill Yako? Come on, my theory, right? <gasps> he talked! Just like always, the only difference, the target was a detective. Is he talking about what happened? Okay, maybe he didn't kill Dr. Huesca. <laughs> but like, okay, why are you dead? During the hit, a lot of commotion. Still, I did my job. I knew it'd be a tough job from the start. But I couldn't refuse. Okay, I know he only killed Yako, but like, I want to be right, guys. <laughs> Makoto Kagatsuchi <gasps> introduced me. Oh. Huh? The client didn't. No. But otherwise, I would have refused the job. After completing the job, I was told I knew too much. Uh... <clears throat> Damn. <clears throat> Master, if what he's saying is true, Makoto was the one who instigated the chief to hire the hitman. Oh my god. <laughs> about the chief and Yomi's plot and took advantage of it? All to eliminate Yomi. And he took the chief's life, too. Even me being there was part of his plan. He's had me in the palm of his hand all along. If that's the case, I'll make him pay. Yeah, kick his ass. Oh my god, I did not expect you to be here. I didn't think you would be dead. <laughs> Wait, in the profiles, does it say he's dead now? Oh my god! Oh... Uh, 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 behind the scenes, Makoto arranged for Yako to hire the hitman. Makoto permanently silenced the hitman once his work was complete. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh! Uh, uh <laughs> Makoto! What what's different here? Oh, it's his zombie picture. Oh my god. Uh uh oh. Damn. Was told. Uh, uh. <sighs> Looks like there's nothing more to say. Well, well, well. Killing the hitman once the job was complete. Makoto Kagatsuchi sure is thorough. It's like he's totally emotionless. At this point, I respect the guy more than I fear him. Um, Shinigami? <laughs> I don't think we should respect him. Oh! Bubuki? up over there again. I think we can stick to the same old strategy. Okay, iPad, iPad, iPad. Ding, 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 ding. Oh my god, meat buns. 
No! They ate her! Well, she was a dummy thick one, too! These clothes belong to Fubuki. Ah, poor thing. Yet again, another one of your friends was devoured. Hmm. Well, like, even if this isn't their actual bodies, where is Makoto, like, keeping... keeping the other detectives? Because clearly he has the power to, like, just, like, kill people. <laughs> he killed a assassin and everything, so... Where is he keeping the rest of them if they're not dead? The biggest dimwit survived the longest. Perhaps thanks to her overpowered ability. Don't talk about her that way! <laughs> She's in love with me, goddammit! <laughs> Makoto! <laughs> it's Fubuki's handwriting. Homunculus experiment report. My apologies. I do not understand what is on the computer screen, so I will copy it down, word for word. Three years ago, the Unified Government's research facility successfully created the first homunculus. Oh? The secret to their success was the DNA used as the core for their artificial cells. Their focus was on individual differences in DNA, so they experimented with various peoples. They found success in one person's DNA, someone believed to have the world's greatest mind. Oh! Wait a second. Wait a second. You're telling me? Oh, uh, the homunculus is. I mean, it's probably number one homunculus. Right? Because they're like, ah, oh, the world's greatest mind must be number one. Guys, guys, sorry, right, hear, hear me out, guys. <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out, okay? <laughs> Alright. You know, this guy. <laughs> if this guy is number one, does that mean under Makoto's mask? Is this face? <laughs> Can you imagine if, like, if Makoto takes off his mask and, like, the reason why I didn't take off my mask is because I look like this. It's not because it was a spoiler that it that it's like Yuma or whatever crazy like that. It's because he looks like this and he's like, I hate my face actually. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, no. Okay, so what? <laughs> okay, come back here. Come back here. Come back to this, please. <laughs> but because of that greatest mind, the completed homunculus was able to reflect on its condition. <laughs> what? As a result, it realized it was a homunculus and escaped the research facility. <laughs> oh my god, wait! Wait, okay. Mako Makoto is definitely this homunculus. It appeared three years ago and then, like, for some reason wanted to go to Kainai Ward, I guess? Maybe? <laughs> What, like, the number one is so smart? Wait, no, but then... Oh, wait, no, so, okay, wait, if, um, if I'm right, if, if I'm right in saying Makoto is number one's homunculus, then... Then in the, in the cutscene where everyone was like a scribble, the short, the short guy was... Makoto? Right? Or would it be the original number one dude? Cause right? If I mean, if you're... If you're a, like, identical copy to your human form, maybe Makoto... Took... The... 
the Book of Death out of the secret areas. And then... I... Okay, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm, I'm lost now, but uh... <laughs> well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Currently, that specimen is still missing. So the Yuji's research facility successfully created a homunculus three years ago. And Project Homunculus occurred at the same time. So that's why Amaterasu Corp grew impatient. The key point is that the specimen went missing. Probably has nothing to do with this city, though. No. But what's this about someone having the best brain in the world? They gotta be exaggerating. <sighs> Bibuki's investigation yielded this report about the homunculus experiments. <gasps> Yuma! You're alive! <laughs> Kurumi, why can't you say like, Whoa! Yuma! <laughs> Just like Dad did. You have to be like, Oh! You probably like, Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Yuma! Kurumi! There you are! Or are you? Are you really Kurumi? Are you okay? Where were you? I'm sorry. I thought I saw someone who looked like Aiko. <gasps> Aiko? Your friend who passed away six months ago? Yes. I lost you when I went looking for her. But I got to talk to her a bit. She looked and talked differently from how I remembered. Still, I finally got to say goodbye. I think she understood. That's good to hear. I got to see Chief Yako back there too. The chief? Mm. Did you speak to him? I'm like suspicious. I'm like, is this really you, Kurumi? Or is this like uh, someone disguised as Kurumi right now? I don't know. <laughs> no, not really. But he did hand me something that exposes the truth about this place. That sounds like something the chief would do. Right! There was something I remembered after talking with Aiko. What do you mean? I'm so glad Kurumi's alright. <laughs> yeah, let's talk here. Just yet, Master. The Vladi said she remembered something. Let's talk here, where the Kurumi the zombies can hear us and they definitely will not try to eat us <laughs> if we stay right here. Okay. What did you remember? Um, Heiko really hated syringes. She'd raise hell whenever the school gave out vaccines. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Kurumi's like, oh yeah, Heiko was anti-vax. Wait, what? <laughs> um, where's this coming from? I'm getting there. I mentioned syringes to see if it was really Aiko I was talking to. Then I suddenly remembered. A few years ago, something bizarre happened in the city. What happened? Everyone in Kanai Ward had to take a blood test. The peacekeepers ordered it, and no one could refuse. Oh my god. Blood test, but it was for their DNA, right? A forced blood test? Back then, we were told it was to test for a contagious disease. I had no reason to doubt it at the time. But my grandpa didn't actually get tested. He said it was suspicious how the peacekeepers were enforcing it. Oh my god, her grandpa's anti vax <laughs> You mean... Your grandpa who went missing. Yeah. Kurumi, I have bad news. Your grandpa was probably turned into a meat bun and you probably ate him. And you know what? Grandpa disappeared right after the blood test. He and his friends did everything they could to make sure no one found out they avoided the test. But right after it happened... Grandpa was caught and completely vanished. 
The same happened to anyone who didn't take the test. Hold on, Kurumi. By it, do you mean... the blank week mystery? Huh? She's like, how do you know? Uh, Kurumi. <laughs> yeah, I do. Are you gonna tell me about it now? A few years ago, a blood test was conducted on all Kanai Ward residents. Okay, clearly, this blood test was not actually a blood test. It was to collect DNA for the homunculus project. And so what? They made homunculus of every person in Kanai Ward? And then... Um... Okay. I think I know. I'll, I'll wait a bit. I'll wait a bit. But I, I, I want to I wanna simmer on this thought process until they All tell I've me more. All i is that the Blank Week mystery is a taboo within Kanai Ward. Can you tell me More about zilches? <laughs> what exactly is the Blank Week? Yeah, let's, cre let's create more zilch, uh... <laughs> Homunculi, please. I can't tell you anything. What? Why? No matter who you ask, you'll get the same answer. That's because no one remembers it. What do you mean? You don't remember? I woke up one day and the entire city was ruined. It was like a tornado had swept through. Not only were the outdoors destroyed, but the inside of our homes, too. Something terrible must have happened while we were sleeping, but none of the residents remember a thing. Oh my god, it really is that. It, it must be, right? So, everyone's blood was taken for DNA for Project Homunculus. Everyone has a homunculus, and then they were defective, and then they started killing people. And so, but like, I don't understand how they're they're conscious and not a zombie right now. Okay, so my my thoughts are, um. Everyone is dead. Every human is dead. Everyone is a homunculus. Really. Since three years ago. And Makoto's also a homunculus, but he's not from Kanai Ward. He's the UG's homunculus. And... He escaped a Kanai ward for some reason. <laughs> How could that be possible? Okay, I, I'm not really understanding how they went from killing everybody to to being like a noble person right now, though. In fact, my home was torn to pieces too. But I don't remember anything that happened back then. But that's not all. Within that time, the date in Kanai Ward had moved forward by a week. A whole week passed while you were asleep? I... think so. But we never quite found out what really happened. When we woke up, everyone in Kanai Ward barely even noticed that it had been completely ravaged. Um, Kurumi, what color is your blood? <laughs> uh, sorry, that's a weird question, but uh... Businesses with dealings outside the city were aware they had a week of no activity. But right afterwards, Kanai Ward was completely isolated, so no one could look into it. In the end, it was all forgotten while things were still uncertain. No, I think it's more accurate to say we chose to forget. It was all too bizarre. And scary. It kind of became a touchy subject. And no one wanted to talk about it. So that's why the Blank Week mystery became taboo. 
There were lots of different rumors about it at the time, but no one knows what really happened. Some people said that Kanai Ward's clocks had all malfunctioned. Some said we were all drugged by some organization. Others think our internal clocks got messed up and we all fell asleep for a week. Hmm, okay. Huh, hmm. I don't- oh, I, I don't think we're gonna do the mystery labyrinth in this stream, but... But... We don't know the truth. We're certainly getting a lot of info. What do you think happened? It's like time froze for the whole city! All we know is that my grandfather and others like him completely vanished back then. <laughs> because he didn't want a blood test. Kanai Ward's unending rain also began right after those events. Okay, rain also started three years ago. Huh? The Blank Week mystery triggered it? This is so mysteriful. That's... all I know. I see. Thank you. <sighs> Even I don't know what's going on here. But all that info sure seems useful. She should have told us about that sooner. You can't blame her. It's taboo, remember? By the way, Yuma, did you search the whole factory? Yeah, I'm trying to look for Zilch right now, actually, Kurumi. What was the truth that voice was talking about? I still don't know. But I haven't checked everything. I don't know what's behind that door. We've already come this far. We might as well check everything. Wait! Don't go alone! It's too dangerous! She sure loves to act before she thinks! Hmm. Okay, Kanai Ward's unending reign started after the Blank Week mystery. A few years ago, a blood test was conducted on all Kanai Ward residents, except for the people who didn't want it and um, actually disappeared. <laughs> Oh no, it's the meat! It's the meat! <laughs> the meat of the... the people. Oh my god, do you think... Do you think I ate a... A poochie... A poochie bun? A zange bun? A melami bun? An Aphex bun? Were they all turned into meat buns? Okay, it doesn't seem I can go this way. What's wrong? Well, I think I heard some strange noises inside. Oh yeah, they were all burned. Some crispy, <laughs> crispy charred meat buns. I also hear something. Kurumi, it might be dangerous up ahead. I'll go first. Huh? But... Leave this to a detective. I'll be right back once I've confirmed it's safe. Then we can check it out together. Please don't disappear on me again. You had me worried back there. Uh, okay. But... Please be careful. Here we go. What's behind this door? Ha ha ha. Oh, what is going on in here? Oh, that's a people. That's a person. Oh, hey. Is that... Uh... <laughs> mm -mm -mm. 
I sure love eating people. <sighs> oh my god. A corpse? A human corpse? You know when people say <laughs> eat ass, uh, you get you get more than just ass in this meat blend. <laughs> it's on the conveyor belt. Then those meat buns. No way. You're kidding. This is horrible. Oh my god. Okay, wait, wait. The mass kidnapping. Makoto's been like just kidnapping people to to turn them into meat buns, I guess. Cause if all of Kanai Ward are homunculi and they don't eat each other. But like why? Is it because like Makoto's a homunculi, he doesn't want to kill other homunculi? Cause like the I I feel like you should just kill all the homunculi and solve the problem. You don't have to kill any humans, you Okay. <laughs> Why make such a thing? Master, there's something else over there. We should check everything first. I apologize, Yuma. I made you eat some meat buns. <gasps> you could have been pure. <laughs> and now, uh you, uh, not, not so much. <laughs> I don't even want to think about what's up ahead. Hello, freezer room? They're all real corpses? What is this? This is a fridge, isn't it? I don't know, but it looks kind of cold. So many refrigerated bodies. Whoever did this must be a total psycho. <laughs> Me too, you mom. Me too. <laughs> Um... What's Whoa. going on here? Corpse's pocket. These aren't fake. They're real human corpses. Wait, do they have... <laughs> corpse's pocket? What do you mean? Aren't they naked right now? Master, look! There's something in its pocket! It looks like a note, but the handwriting is hard to read. Are you grinding up people's clothes, too? Maybe someone was rushing to write this before they died. He got it from their cheeks. No! <laughs> Where am I? Where am I being taken to? Everyone here is a dangerous criminal that deserves the death sentence. That ruthless killer? That vile kidnapper? Everyone's crying as they pray to God. Will we be serving our sentences here together with no trial? Wait, so criminals are being taken here? Shit, if only we'd never been caught by the WDO. They'll lock us up in here like animals. Those bastards. We are brought here by the WDO's number one. He's called the world's greatest mind, isn't he? Why would the top detective do this? What is he thinking? How can this be allowed? Damn it. What will happen to us? The note cuts off here. Uh okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Maybe it's not actually. Maybe it's not actually number one, right? Maybe it's Makoto. Because he looks like number one, he's like, all right, I'm a number one. Please ship off all of these bad people that we got um, and ship them off to Kanai Ward. Okay, thank you. But like, wouldn't the real number one notice by now? It's been like three years. <laughs> what? The WDO did this? 
gotta be bogus, right? I want to believe that too. But why would someone write down a lie in their final moments? If what's written here is true, then I don't know what to believe anymore. Well, if these guys are all dangerous criminals, they didn't deserve to live anyway, right? Was the kidnapping only of criminals? It's not something you should worry about, Master. Just because they're dangerous criminals doesn't mean they should be slaughtered like this. It's not right. And why turn them into meat buns? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I made you eat some. Well, calm down, Master. It's better not to think about it. Shut up. Oh. I'll make it a solution key for now. We are finally catching a glimpse of the truth. But it's not over yet. The mystery you need to solve awaits outside the factory. You want to expose all truths, don't you? Then press on, detective! Hurry, before you can't trust anything anymore. So that you can keep trusting in yourself. Come on! Solve the mystery! What's Makarto's end goal here, you know? Like, a memo found in the pocket of a corpse in the factory refrigerator appears to be a criminal captured by the World Detective Organization. Uh, Kurumi, <laughs> maybe it's better if you don't come into this room, actually. How often do you eat meat buns again? Yuma! What's wrong? What was in there? No, there's nothing. Nothing at all. Huh? Oh. Too bad. What is it? You look pale. No, I'm fine. It's best if Kurumi doesn't learn about the meat buns yet. She's been eating those things for so long. Yeah, and at this point you're kind of thinking like, okay, why are they feeding humans to humans? Unless... Unless you're not human! Oh my god. Disgusting! <laughs> Rumi, um... How do you feel about, uh, cannibalism? <laughs> Should be like, what? <laughs> uh, you know, just a... Just a... Just a question out of nowhere. The truth is waiting ahead. Are you ready, Kurumi? Yes, of course. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Huh? Never mind. Let's go. Oh my lord. <laughs> Eradicating world's unsolved mysteries and apparently uh killing all criminals <laughs> and turning them into meat buns. <laughs> so like how is this gonna end? You know how I was like maybe Yuma because he's killing people in the, the mystery labyrinth, right? Maybe the end of this game is Yuma has to kill everyone in Kanai Ward, like I was joking about. But maybe that's actually the good ending. Uh... I could be in here, it seals really tight. Maybe... It could be the same as what was in that refrigerator. Uh, are you alright? You look pale. Yeah, I'm fine. I don't think we can open this box, so let's move on. Uh oh. <laughs> we can get out this way. Wow. Kurumi, you're not 
not gonna try Watch eat out. me at some point, right? <laughs> You'd end up pretty mangled if you slipped on a slope like this. Mm. Oh, red bridge, red bridge. Okay, uh, Vivia's is somewhere here. Oh, of course, the last one is going to be with Yako, though. Ah, uh, Vivi. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Well, what, what's Vivi's last gab gonna be? It's like maybe, maybe I don't want to die someday, Yuma. <laughs> is that what your last gab is gonna be? Maybe I want to die someday, Yuma. But you know what? While I'm still alive, I like hanging out with you, Yuma. Vivian, Vivianana. <laughs> Come on, Vivianana. Hmm. Uh huh. What's wrong, Vivia? Were you reading Fantastique again? Fantastique. No, it's a mystery this time. I think these are nice once in a while. Oh, so you read those too? <laughs> I guess it doesn't fit me. It is a bit of a cliche for a detective to read mystery novels. So you haven't read the genre in a while. What's this one about? I hope they're all not dead. <laughs> hmm. Well, I suppose I'd feel comfortable telling you. Huh? What do you mean by that? The protagonist is an earnest rookie detective. He began his investigation after receiving a request from a certain girl. Her mother died under suspicious circumstances. Who killed the girl's mother and why? The rookie detective continues his desperate investigation. Mm, he's reading books about us. Yeah. He seeks the truth, all for the sake of this girl. But the truth that awaits him is cruel. She killed her mother, Yuma. For the girl murdered her own mother. Oh no. Oh. Wow, what a twist! The girl may not have meant any harm. But her actions unintentionally caused her mother's horrible death. It was a tragic accident. The rookie detective didn't know if it was right to solve this mystery. What was the point in exposing this cruel truth to the public? Under a standard set of values, one would keep it a secret and remain quiet. There would be no benefit to telling the innocent girl she was the cause of her mother's death. Um, actually, she's not innocent. <laughs> uh, Vivia. <laughs> However, the girl wanted that mystery to be solved with all her heart. Not knowing she was the culprit all along. <sighs> what a dilemma. Should we reveal the truth to those who seek it? No matter how cruel it may be, would you say lies made from kindness are truly kind? What do you think the rookie detective did in the end? Or rather, what would you have done, Yuma? Me? Um, you know, I was paid to do a job. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure. Wouldn't have solved the mystery. Uh, you know, I think Yuma's whole development is that he would solve the mystery. 
so. I think I would have solved the mystery. Hmm. I see. What did the rookie do in the end? Well, human cells will always replace one another. The old vanishes, and in time, the new turns old. Considering that, am I the same person at birth as I am at death? What are you saying? You, you like you waited until the girl was a completely different like combination of cells, and then was like, actually, you did not kill your mother <laughs> because you're you're a whole bunch of new cells now. There you go again, trying to muddy the waters. Are you saying I should just read it myself? Well, who knows? You told me pretty much the whole thing, but kept the conclusion a secret. Wait, that book's story... Is it about you, Vivia? Eh? Hmm? Why do you say that? It's something you mentioned before. Not all mysteries should be solved. Maybe it's your personal experience that led you to believe that. <laughs> your deduction makes sense. But I'm not sure myself. He's like, um, Yuma, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you know, I'm not straight, so, like, I wouldn't have done it because I loved a girl or anything, you know? <laughs> it's like, uh, okay. <laughs> For the sake of a girl? No, I don't think so, Yuma. <laughs> Please don't dodge the subject. I told you, didn't I? I don't think all mysteries should be solved. Whether the story I told you now is from a book or my life, it doesn't change a thing. Anyway, I'm off to explore another world inside a book. So, which is it? If that's what Vivi has been through, why tell me about it? Maybe in his own way, he wants me to understand him. That would be nice if it's true. I like to know more about his upbringing, <laughs> his parents, and all his siblings, you know? Hmm. Maybe this is an unsolvable mystery. <laughs> Master, you and Vivia have forged the ultimate bond together. Good for you, Master. I'm happy for you. Yay! No bananas. <laughs> no bananas in that story. Well... <laughs> I don't know, Vivi's whole thing is like, do you really want to know the truth? Now we're learning the truth of everything. And you must gonna have to kill Everyone in Kanai Ward <laughs> to finish this game. Hey, Kurumi, do you mind dying? Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Parkour? <laughs> Kurumi! <laughs> My heart's pounding just thinking about what might happen. Is she behind us? Okay, good. <laughs> Sick jumps. <laughs> oh my god, another one! What is that? Oh my god, climate change. A massive chimney. This looks like the public bath for the village. Forget that! <laughs> the lost gab! Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Dad? Let's go. 
Lost memory with dad. Oh. 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 But yes, it does seem like this building is like causing all the rain. Maybe? Oh, Dad. It's so nice that you can talk to Jeez. me. Jeez. Things have been getting troubling lately. You're telling me. Yuma, you got anything to share that could cheer me up? Um... <laughs> Dad Nana? <laughs> huh? I don't know what to say when I'm put on the spot like that. Isn't that a funny joke? How are things going with you and Kurumi? Oh my god. He's like, how's, how are you going with your little girlfriend? I want you to pull on my heartstrings with stories of young love. There's nothing like that between us. It's not like I like her or anything. B -b -b Baka? <laughs> uh huh. You're just not being honest with yourself. What about you, Chief? From the looks of things, you appear to be single. <laughs> single and ready to mingle. Oops, wait, no, I'm dead. I thought you said you used to be pretty popular. Sure was! Back in my prime, I went way beyond three and four timing. <laughs> hey, yo, guys, I don't know about this one. Suddenly, like, this gap, this lost gap is like, Hey, did you like Yako? Actually, he's a womanizer and uh, cheated on his partners. So, you know what? Maybe, maybe you shouldn't like him. <laughs> Beyond three and four timing? I can't believe this. Everybody was head over heels for me. You sure about that? Nah, I seriously doubt it. They'd all be fighting for my attention whenever I got a minute of free time. This is everyone in the chat. <laughs> Everyone's like, me! <laughs> Make me, uh, I want to call you daddy, you know? <laughs> We went from dad to daddy. <laughs> oh, and they'd get so jealous if they found out they weren't my one and only. It was adorable. Yako, I don't think so. They were like cute little kittens, the way they come up to me wanting a drink. <laughs> okay, Didn did not say this for Lara. <laughs> Yako. Yako, after, after the <laughs> pussy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> huh? What? Wanting a drink? Wait a minute. Oh my god! Wait, no, was he actually talking about real cats? <laughs> He's like, oh my god, I love cats. <laughs> I I had like four cats at a time. What? <laughs> Pets? Hostess? Oh, actually, maybe it is Hostess. He spent all his money on Hostesses. Is that what it is? We can't have two cat lovers. <laughs> uh, okay. You know what? I'll go with It's a Fantasy. Are you sure this isn't just your fantasy? What are you talking about? I'm telling the truth. Oh, I get it. You're jealous. Nuh-uh. What? You, no, I'm not. I, 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 you, a cocoa head. Get all the bitches. <laughs> I'm sure the chief is actually talking about my Riz out of the world, out of this world. <laughs> You're referring to a hostess club. The women all worked there, didn't they? That's right, Yuma. I was the one getting all the bitches. <laughs> it's like, oh gosh. What? No. You admitted they were all asking you for drinks. <laughs> Crap. Chief, you don't need to put on airs like that. You're not a kid anymore. <sighs> I'm sorry. The truth is, I wasn't popular at all. No. No bitches. <laughs> No bitches for Yako. 
Why would you lie about that? Well, Yuma, just remember one thing. Huh? What? Maybe, maybe his wife was like, I like pathetic men. <laughs> I'm speaking here as a man with much more life experience, not as your chief. Yes? If you fall in love with a woman, you have to protect her, no matter what. Mm. That, and that alone, is why men are made to be men. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god, hey, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> men are made to be men, to protect women. Huh? Uh, sure. What's up with Buzzhead? He looks so serious. I'll keep that in mind, but what's gotten into you all of a sudden? Well... I stopped visiting the girl I liked for a while, when I was broke, then I found out she quit and went back home. Oh. <laughs> He's like, I have no money. Hee <laughs> hee. People only realize how important something is uh, after they've lost it. Bro, you should have been talking about your wife! Not about a random hostess, girl. He's like, you should protect women. <laughs> if you fall in love with a woman, my wife, <laughs> I have to protect her. And now he's like, uh, actually, <laughs> I'm talking about the hostess. <laughs> I don't quite understand. Why did his wife love him? <laughs> I can't tell if he's being serious or not. He laughed it off at the end, but I could tell that story was important to him. Nah, he was talking about his wife, and then was like, actually, that's a little too serious. Let me, let me be a bit goofy. I'll keep what he said in mind. <laughs> Master, you and Yako have forged the ultimate bond together! I, I'll, like, I'll teach you Riz. <laughs> Charisma. Good you for love. you, Master! I'm happy for you. The first thing you should do, uh, Yuma, is change your last name. <laughs> Coco Head Stupid. Aw, man. <laughs> she was into pathetic men, aren't we? Aren't we all? <laughs> ah, that's all the- that's all the gabs! Well. Time to look at this building. Polluting the sky. But first. Things are looking bad at this rate! Hold on, Master! There are zombies over there! Yeah. Let's not go this way. Alright. A bathhouse, huh? What is that? What is that machine? It seems to be connected to the chimney outside. Whatever it is, it's a bit excessive. Could this be part of the truth he mentioned? Master, there's a switch! What do you want to do? Ah. Twenty-three? Twenty-two? Thirty-three? People's, like, baskets. Locker space? Is there anything to look at over here? Shinigami, could you check out the top of the shelf, please? Leave it to me! Ah, no luck. There's nothing special here. Oh, thanks, Shinigami. Power supply? 
Hmm. It looks like a battery powered, uh, powering a device nearby, but. Uh. Yeah, the central machine is running by itself. What is all this? What is this? Oh my! This is quite nice! Collapsed public boss. <sighs> From this angle, it looks like the remains of an old bathhouse. Yeah. Seems like it hasn't been used for a long time. I bet this giant bath has helped rejuvenate a lot of stressed out people. There's just a machine being used for who knows what. Nothing lasts forever. Hmm. Okay. Are you going to flip the switch? I guess so. It stopped. Oh. <laughs> well, that was fast. Side. I repeat, ah, the, sun! the state of emergency has been declared. All residents, please seek shelter inside. I haven't seen the sun in three years. <sighs> Why do they have to go inside? Shouldn't people be like, oh my god, it stopped raining! Hallelujah! <laughs> Everyone's like, ah! Sun! The sky's clearing up. So the stuff coming out of the chimney was... Rain clouds? <gasps> rain? Rain, rain clouds? This game is called Rain Clouds. Huh? This machine's a device that creates rain clouds? The machine creates artificial clouds to make it rain all over Kanai Ward. To think, even the rain has been artificial this whole time. There is no truth in this city. Everything is a lie. A device located in the restricted area it can artificially generate rain clouds. Uh, nobody's in here! <laughs> what is this? <sighs> oh, right, the sirens. <sighs> um. Um... <laughs> What's going on? What's happening? Oh no, Kurumi, wait! Kurumi? <laughs> What's wrong? Everyone... Oh, hello! Makoto? Makoto Kagatsuchi! We should turn off the alarm before we celebrate our reunion. Aren't you worried about Kurumi's body? Here. I'm gonna become a zombie! <laughs> what, you can't jump over this yourself? Hmm. 
So what? The sun makes the homunculi go crazy? <laughs> I thought they were already crazy, even without the sun. <sighs> Was fast. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> we went from rain code to sun code to rain code all over again. <laughs> Freak weather we're having. The rain is back. It seems like things have settled down. What was that? Is it because I stopped the device? Master, be careful! Congratulations, Yuma. You finally arrived at the truth of this city. Mm-hmm. Congratulations! Enough! I've had enough of your games! Games? I've been taking this seriously the entire time. Especially when it comes to Kanai War. What is your goal? Why are you doing this? You still don't know? I want you to understand the truth about this place. The truth? You mean this big device? This is but a small portion of the truth. Of course, I'm the one who created this contraption. Although it's a rather makeshift design. Using the old bathhouse's chimney was brilliant, hmm? The melding of my genius ideas and the world's best technology. And you just know how to build stuff? <laughs> okay. Why did you even make it? I don't owe you any explanations. But you've made it this far, so you deserve something. As you know, Amaterasu's experiment resulted in defective homunculi. Do you know the fatal flaw within all defective homunculi? No. One is an extreme decrease in intelligence when they're resurrected. In other words, they turn into zombies. Okay. They may be immortal, but upon returning from death, they become monsters that seek human flesh. Okay. The other flaw is sunlight. Like we went from immortal monsters to zombies to vampires <laughs> like uh, uh, pick one <laughs> okay sunlight what <laughs> they don't want that vitamin <laughs> vitamin uh d <laughs> the UV rays make them crazy. Sunlight? When defective homunculi encounter sunlight, they become extremely stressed and lose control. They'll return to normal if you block out the sun. But while they're berserk, they lose all reason and memories. And why the sun? I'm <laughs> like... What, what in our DNA? <laughs> Well, in the DNA was like, oh no, sunlight! I gotta go crazy! Reason and memories? To be exact, it's an allergic reaction to ultraviolet rays. If left in this state, they eventually die. Okay, it is a UV rays. But things will continue to spiral out of control. Once they die, they turn into zombies. In other words, sunlight is the greatest enemy of the defective homunculi. When defective homunculi encounter sunlight, they become extremely stressed and lose control. So you are blocking out the sun for them. And to do that, you created a cage of rain over the entire city? When the clouds grow thick enough to block the sun, rain starts to fall. It's a natural phenomenon. 
To keep them stable requires clouds thick enough to cause rainfall. I can okay. form rain clouds all across Kanai Ward from here. <laughs> the altitude and wind conditions make it ideal. Okay. The result, of course, is that Kanai Ward became a city of unending rain. Why build such a major contraption just for some defects? Yeah. Defects, hmm? Who are you to say something like that? What do you mean? I'm the homunculi. <laughs> no, you're the homunculi! You've lost so much on your long journey here. But now, well, look at your hands. What do you have left? You're right. Maybe I am empty. But I've been able to face many truths by relying on the strength of my friends. I didn't make it this far on my own. It was thanks to those who helped me. But especially yours truly. So, even though I'm empty, I have everyone with me. That's why I was able to corner you. It's like, um, actually, I brought you here. So, uh, this is all part of my plan, you know? Corner me? <laughs> An interesting way to put it. But if you want to corner someone, This is how you do it. Hello? <laughs> why, why is everyone pointing guns at me in this game? <laughs> like, ah, yes, the power of friendship. But can it deflect bullets? <laughs> Ain't no fair! He never said he had a gun! One pull of the trigger and you're dead. Looks like I've got you cornered, Yuma. <laughs> hmm. There's a spark in your eyes. Like you still have an ace up your sleeve. Okay. Fine. Play your card. Let's finish this. Use the power of the Book of Death! How do you know?! How do you know about that? <laughs> what do we do, Shinigami? I hate to use him now that he spoiled the whole thing, but let's do it. And honestly, you'll be killed if I don't, Master. Thank you. The target mystery is the mass of corpses found in the factory refrigerator. Considering the scale of all this, even I don't know what the mystery labyrinth will look like. We're gonna have to kill everyone in Kanai Ward. What's wrong? Hurry up. The mystery you want to solve is right here. Hit in my brain. Come on. Solve Kanai Ward's ultimate secret! Expose all of my crimes! Bang bang. It's kill or be killed. Oh my god! Wow, how many- <laughs> Alright. There's no time to hesitate. Are you sure? One wrong move and you'll be forever trapped in the mystery labyrinth. Of course. And I won't blame you if that happens. You've saved me so many times already. Oh, she blushing. All right, here goes. Right, let's do it, Shinigami. This may be the final mystery labyrinth. Arise, mystery labyrinth. So. Shinigami, is it just like okay that like Makoto knows about you? I thought we had to keep it secret. <laughs> well. There we go. <laughs>
Oh boy. Okay then. Wait, if this is our last one, can we do it normally? You know, together. Aww. S sure, I don't mind. Aww, cute. Yay. Yeah! Down the rabbit hole we go! That was adorable. Okay. So clearly... Clearly you could still move. Oh my god. <laughs> Something's up with him. Something is up. Well. Let me see where I can... I'll just go over here. Mystery Labyrinth. Well! Oh. With that said and done, maybe in the next stream is gonna be the last part of, uh... Of Raincoat. At least the main game. I feel like we have a rough idea of everything that's going on. Um, Makoto... Makoto is probably the homunculus that was created by the UG, like, other facility and escaped. But if that's the case, like, wouldn't he just, like, be captured? Because, like, if he... If he came to Kanai Ward and was like, Oh, uh, let me handle this. And, like, discussed with the UG to be like, Um, actually, leave Kanai Ward alone. Like, wouldn't they know? Like, it's like, Hey! Hey, that's the escaped homunculus! <laughs> Get him! But, like, he seems to be okay. Or is that why he wears a mask? So he's like, Um, I'm not the escaped homunculus, actually. Well, well, well. I... hmm... let me think about this. Okay, the homunculus being kind of like zombies and stuff, that I can accept, you know? They're defective, so like they don't re... like they don't come back to life completely the same even if they're killed like a, a perfect or perfected homunculus should. So like they're not... they're immortal, but if they die they don't come back the same. They don't, like, recover. Right? But... The sunlight part? <laughs> Alright, I feel like the sunlight part was just Kodaka being like, I want this, this location to be cool and cyberpunk and rainy. How do we work that into it? <laughs> it's like, oh! Yeah, they hate the sun. <laughs> That's why it's raining. I think that's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> and uh, my prediction for the Mystery Labyrinth is we're gonna... Well, clearly Makoto can move. So I think Makoto's probably gonna come into the Mystery Labyrinth with us. And we're gonna need to kill him. And all of Khan I Award. And Yuma is... Going to be a mass murderer, like we, like we said he was. <laughs> you know, we got a little distracted by only killing off Icardi and Yako, but um, you know, we're back on track now. We're gonna kill all of Kanai Ward. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> He's our next detective partner. I don't know. I don't think Makoto's on our side. <laughs> Um, but yeah, well, uh, hmm, I guess it's kind of cool that, well, there was a lot of lore. There was a lot of lore dumped on us this one stream, and I was kind of expecting it. Plot twists and lore dumps are the bread and butter of Kodaka games in the last chapter. <laughs> I don't know if I really have any theories to, to make. 
before we enter the mystery labyrinth, I think we all have like somewhat of a solid understanding of what's going on. Um, unless they have some like kind of crazy plot twist that I haven't thought about yet. <laughs> then I'll think about it. Um, but firstly, where the heck is everyone? So like Desiiko, uh, Halara, Fubuki, and Vivia, I don't think they're dead, right? Clearly we're trying to say that they're not dead because surely they're not homunculi, right? And so the dead bodies that Makoto had us witness are probably not them. So where are they right now? Are they like locked in a cage or something? <laughs> like where are they? Where are they? Anyway, we'll leave it at there for now, for today, and next time, next time, we'll, I guess we'll be finishing. We'll be finishing Rain Code. How exciting! <laughs> uh, so yeah, thank you everyone for being here today uh, and checking out the stream. Hee hee hee. Uh, yeah, next time, next time we're probably gonna see the finale. The finale of Rain Code. How exciting. <laughs> I guess um, what I can do is like maybe do a community post after this and like um, see if you guys are interested in me doing a reading of Yako's light novel afterwards. Uh, but we'll also do some streams where we play the DLC I think. I don't know if people would want me to do them all uh, when they all release or go one at a time. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Alright, thank you everyone for coming to the stream. I'm so, like, I'm overjoyed that we saw Zilch today. You know what? Like, <laughs> out of everything that happened today, uh, Zilch and the Zilch X Yomi ship is what I'm the happiest about today. <laughs> uh, the funniest thing to ever happen. Anyway, if you guys want to, um, Leave the, the video a like or leave a comment after the stream ends. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming to watch my raincoat stream. And I'll see you guys next time for possibly the finale of the main story. So yeah. See you everybody. Thank you so much. Bye bye.